Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. We got another amazing episode today. We got five ladies on the panel today. We talking dating and relationships. You know how it is. Uh, thank you for all the supporters that's been tuning in. Like, subscribe, and click that notification bell and share it with a friend. So let's get right into it. Uh, starting with you, your name, age, and where you from? My name is Samasia. I'm from Newark, New Jersey, and uh, I'm 20. <laughs> My guy. Wait, you said uh, your name, uh, what? Samasia. Samasia. <laughs> and the reason why I'm doing this, the fans know, is, uh, like, you good? It's because I'm trash uh, with the uh, with names. Samasia. Yes. Is Sam so, in Asia like the continent? Asia. Uh, we got you, Samasia. I think I got that good. And you said you're 20? Yes. Okay, what you do for a living? I work warehouse jobs. Warehouse? Yeah. Okay. Are well, you 20 years old? Ain't no well, that's for right now. I just like the money. Okay. <laughs> $15 an hour? 25 Ooh, yeah. 20, 25 Yeah, okay. 25 an hour. So you're making speaking. like 40, let me think if I got the math right, you're making like 44 an hour? I mean, 44 a year? 44,000 a year? Um, 45,000 a year? Let's try 1,500 a week. Okay. Nigga, do the math. Gary, why? <laughs> what a... No, I'm playing. I'm messing with you. Relationship status? Single. Single. Okay. For how long? <laughs> you trying to be funny? <laughs> nah, how long you been single for? Um, you only 20. Like, um, a few months now. A few months? Mm hmm Okay. Cool. So you trying to... Um, moving right along. <laughs> name, age, and where you from? My name is Keisha. I'm 34, and I'm from North New Jersey. Keisha, you from... The you from no, you from the hood, okay. Um, how old are you? Thirty four. Thirty four. What you do for a living? I work for a bank, <clears throat> call center. Call center, mm -hmm. okay. And our relationship status? Single. Single. All right. How long you been single for? Since last December. Last December. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Nine the, months. Yeah, ten months. nine ten months. All right, not too bad. Moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? My name is Lexi. I'm 26. I'm about to be 27 on Saturday, um, but I'm from Philly. 26. Okay. What you do for a living? I'm a bartender. Okay. Nice. Nice. How long you been doing that for? Bartending? Like like eight months. Fun fact about yourself. I'm a star. Ooh. Okay. Spicy. You are a spicy star. A spicy star. Okay. Um, how long you been doing that for? Um, like a year and three months. Okay. Only but scenes with BBCs. Um, I mean a little bit more than that. A little bit more? You do Asians? <laughs> no, I don't really fuck with Asian. Asian friends. <laughs> they yeah. want in. Yeah. Egg Fu Young? No. No? No. Okay. No Egg Fu Young. Okay. I prefer the BBC type though. You prefer the BBC type. <laughs> okay. That's my that's my handle. That's your handle. Relationship status. It's real, real complicated. Real complicated. <laughs> real complicated. Um, Cause your you you doing spicy videos. So. Um no, that's not why it's that's complicated. That's not why. Okay, but. well, you let me know. Why is it complicated? Um, it's complicated because he's a. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, he's a. He's a. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. So he got me into doing like these videos or whatever, and now that I'm trying to branch out and like be somebody with it, yeah. he's mad. So like, he started to like do his own thing. So now it's complicated. Okay. So. The <laughs> calls another person. <laughs> Okay. I guess. I mean, at least I'm getting paid for it, though, right? He's I, just giving out for free. Uh, I mean, that's what do. But okay, it is what it is. Fair enough. And it ain't what it ain't for sure. It ain't what it ain't. Fair enough. <laughs> so you do spicy work, okay? And um, so it's been complicated. When was y'all actually serious, though? Like, when was your last... You said you're 26. Yeah. So when was your last serious relationship? Uh, we were serious for about, like, six months. And we've been complicated for, like, five. Okay. So yeah. six months ago? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and your name, age, and where you're from? All right. My name is Sarah. I'm 21, and I'm from Hackettstown, New Jersey. Hackettstown, New Jersey. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you said you're 21. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a certified CNA right now. Okay. All right. And um, how long have you been doing that for? About six months. And then I got my phlebotomy license too. So I'm drawing blood for fun. You're drawing blood? Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, and relationship status? Single. Single. All right. How long have you been single for? 
I'm healing. Uh, I've been single for like two years now. Two years now. Okay. Single. Mm -hmm. Two Happily years. Healing. You said you are healing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Name, age, and where are you from? What's good? I'm Elena. Uh, my name, I'm 20. I'm from like Wilkes-Barre, Piston type area. Okay. Elena, Wilkes-Barre, Pittsburgh type area. You're 20 years old. Um, what do you do for a living? I work at Amazon. I train people. Okay. And relationship status? I'm single. Single. How long? Around 10 months last year. 10 months last year. Okay. Not bad. So you're single too. So we got everybody <laughs> single <laughs> and one complicated. <laughs> But I guess we could say single as well. It's not that complicated. It's pretty single. <laughs> pretty single. I okay. live there, though. Fair, <laughs> fair enough. Question about your spicy work. Okay. Is it with the guy that it's complicated with? Or are you allow, you know, all random right. guys So, that like, that's with? actually really funny you asked that question. So, all my videos thus far have been with just him. Okay. Um, And there was, like, one other person that I did a little three with. A girl or a guy? It was a guy. Um, but what, he was there. Yeah. Oh, so that was me a and like another guy. That was a train. Okay, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. It was yeah. three of us. Yeah. <laughs> and some stuff happened. Okay. <laughs> anyway, cool. um, so what was I saying? Oh, what was your question? Uh, you, you I was saying, you, so thought. you pretty much do the work with him. Yeah, but now I'm like kind of looped in with somebody, and I'm trying to get like branded into a company. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, anyone has questions? On the panel, mm, we're gonna start with y'all. No. Y'all, no questions, anything, any topics y'all want to hit, Elena? What you about to get into? I mean, that's uh, if we could get into whatever y'all want to get into, what y'all thinking? I'm with whatever. You with whatever? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm with whatever. You don't got nothing I on got your no mind. Preference. I mean, I have a topic. How do y'all feel about Krishan having her baby on live? Okay, let's start uh, with <laughs> you, Elena. How do you feel about that? You know, Krishan is right. Yeah, Who I know. Pays, all right, well, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, it's not really into my business, but I be knowing what's going on because I see stuff on the media. But yeah. I don't care that she had a baby online. I also saw that she ain't let Blueface go to the delivery. <coughs> so she ain't let her man show up to the to the whole pregnancy. Man, it may not be his baby. <laughs> um, they, had a, they had a paternity test and he is the father. Mm. A paternity test before was born? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, these scientists is getting creative. Yeah, they get yeah, real crazy. creative. I was, I was shook, to be honest. But she anyways... Is. I'm not gonna lie, they just toxic, so I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh what's your thoughts on that, sir? Um, I kinda feel like it was a media stunt. Maybe to like not like introduce whichever baby. I, I wasn't sure if it was like yeah. a girl or boy at this point, but she already had her baby. Um I feel like maybe it was to kinda hype the fame up and maybe get her kid to kind of have the shine, so that to shine. say. Okay. Yeah. So you think it was just like a later, publicity maybe. stunt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Okay. What about you? I agree with Sarah. I think it was like a publicity stunt, especially because like she named her baby Krishan. Wait, what? She named her baby Krishan. <laughs> her baby's <laughs> name is Krishan. Oh, she. And it's a boy. She's, she's Wallen. Yeah, she's. And like she had made the comment like on the live that she did it for the fact that now Blueface has to call her name whenever he's around his child. And like to me, that's petty and you're being real petty with a child. Yeah, that's uh, that's wild. Um, yeah. Thoughts? I agree with her. She's that was bitter, very bitter. Yeah, bitter. Um, I don't like the fact that she had the baby on live. Was it a boy um, or a girl? It was a boy. Oh, okay. Um, she didn't. She did, in fact, tell him that he wasn't allowed to come. Mm -hmm. So he didn't come on purpose. She right. said he wasn't allowed. Mm -hmm. um, the baby being named after her, I thought that was just out of pocket. <laughs> the baby needs his own identity. Identity, yeah. yeah. Own identity. He doesn't yeah. need to be caught. He has her whole full name. Yeah. Whole entire name. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, my thoughts on that is that, I mean, she she for the streets and will always remain for the streets. <laughs> um, and what she did was just, I think, I agree with Sarah, publicity stunt. Um, but let's get into a fun question. Starting here. Name <laughs> two presidents, two presidents, and you can't name Biden, Obama, or Trump. 
And then when you name two presidents, you can't you if when you go next, you can't name the same two pres- presidents. You got to name different presidents. So let's go around. OK, George Bush, um, Abraham Lincoln. You next. OK, I'm going to say. You said we can't name Biden. <laughs> Obama. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you. Biden. Biden, Obama, and Trump. She already said George Bush and Abraham Lincoln. Dang, you took my answers. <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, let's go. Um, Two presidents. I don't really, I don't know no presidents. You don't care, then? I don't care for what it. What the? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Science and, and that I don't care for. Moving right along. Lexi, name your president. Clinton Washington. Sarah, you next. I was gonna say Kennedy and. Okay. Why not think that? I was gonna say Clinton too. That was my go to okay. before she said that. Um, I don't think. I don't wanna say the wrong name, but. Thomas Jefferson? He was on the. He no, was on yeah, the bill. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. All right. I'm gonna say Bush. Put put the, the mic all the way. Yeah, you got to bring that My closer. Fault. No, I was going to say George W. Bush and just like Thomas Jefferson, but they already went well, up. Well, it, it was two Bushes, so I'll I give you one. Oh, okay, okay. I'll give you one. I'll let you slide with that, so give me another one. Damn, I was going to say <laughs> JFK, too, but John F. Kennedy, that's all. Nope, nope. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you, girl. I, I, I never paid. I don't. You don't feel bad for me. Look, science and that. I don't. I wasn't yeah. a big fan of it. It's history, but yeah, social studies that was not like my there, thing. There we go. Um, <laughs> moving right along. Uh, first question of the podcast. We're gonna go with Elena. Uh, what's worse, friend zone or sex zone? For me, sex zone, because I don't want a sneaky link, and that's not like it depends. I guess what you're looking for from that person. So. If okay. I if I'm want a sneaky link from you, sex zone is good. If I don't want none of that from you, then I don't even need to be in the friend zone. I don't really care about you, like. But like, unless you feel me, unless I could be cool with you, then I don't want sex with you. So it's different. Fair enough. Um, so, sex zone is worse. Sex zone is worse to me. You don't want to be a smash buddy. What about you, sir? What's worse, friend zone or sex zone? Um, uh, probably say sex zone because I normally put people in the sex zone. So like I you want, yeah I put wouldn't want to be in a sex zone? yeah you don't want to be like someone's go to you okay. want to have like your preference you want to like have your own standards and like girls don't really get friend zoned all that often depending on the guys it kind of depends okay so these guys that you put in sex zone <laughs> there's right? there's no one there right now I'm just saying like the guys <laughs> that you put in sex zone past tense right. Yeah. So you've put men in sex zone. Um, why were they just in sex zone? Why wouldn't you want anything else with a man other than sex? Um, Pretty much what I'm saying is, is that do you think <laughs> you put them in sex zone or they put you in sex zone? More or less, like when you're trying to like form a relationship with someone, yeah, you kind of know like what kind of like conversations you can have. So if you want to escalate something into more of like a genuine relationship, obviously there has to be chemistry to kind of fulfill like all needs in both parties. Um, When you're in the friend zone, you're strictly keeping things very platonic. You're not really getting questionable with anything. Um, So I'd kind of say as far as like being in the zone, whether I'm in the zone or someone else is in the zone, it's probably beneficial in the sense that maybe we're not compatible in a relationship or maybe it just can't go further so it's more for like fun rather than got you so you have with guys that you don't see a future with it just like i see no future with you so i just casually have with you that's what you mean no <laughs> that's pretty that's what zone is am i in this zone or are they in this <laughs> well i'll let's keep it rocking <laughs> like, yeah, like, what's that funny? <laughs> Zone, like, uh, Lexi, the zone is worse. Zone is worse, and why? Yeah, I mean, probably because like, if I wanted, like, I, I I do spicy content. So if I wanted, like, there's not too many people that like aren't just gonna give it to me. Yeah. So like, for you to put me in that category, like, it hurts my feelings. So what? I can't. We can't be friends. Like, I'm not cool. Mm. I'm funny. <laughs> okay. So you say the guys, you know, zone is worse because when they put you in a 
So when it's kind of like, yeah, I maybe yeah. want a little something more, and you just yeah. hitting it. You just don't want to talk like, to me. And it's like, I'm so used to that. Like, give me some other type of energy because I'm not going to waste my time if I feel like that's the only zone you putting me in. Okay. And uh, Keisha, right? Yes. Which is worse? Basically, it's the song. That's worse. I don't want to just be there for Okay. I'm not that type of person. Okay. So it irritates me. It irritates if I know you. all you want is that, then I'm just going to end up W. Okay. And what about you, uh, Samisha? Samasia. Samasia. Let me put yeah, that Yeah, okay. I so here. what exactly do you mean referring to the sex zone? And, like, a sex zone. Um, when you're talking to a man <laughs> and you like him and uh, he just hitting it, but he ain't elevating you. So you're not getting elevated to girlfriend status or anything else. It's nothing but hard and light conversations. <laughs> I mean, with that, I kind of control everything. So if it were in that, then it's my doing. But like, uh, I'll probably say the zone. I wanted to say the friend zone because it's hard putting men in the friend zone. They'd be like, I don't know. They'll okay. act like they're cool with they're cool with it, and then did a man ever put you in a friend zone? Like no. you wanted that, but he was mm. like. <laughs> Never. You're not worth it. No, but it's like I can't keep a male friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got something to say on it. Sure, go ahead. Real quick, I feel like if you in the zone with somebody, then it's that's what it is. But I feel like friend zone ain't really a bad thing because, like, they want to know you as a person. They want to actually, like, feel me, be cool with you. We can go out, get some dinner. But in the zone, like, we linking up. <laughs> I, hit you, I hit you up for what are you doing. I want or you know that you just want some if I hit you up. So the being in the friend zone, I think that's where you can actually be cool with somebody. So I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Right. Okay. You be cool with a guy. And you don't think it's a bad thing care about for a girl. You, you feel me? I just feel as though with the friend zone, men are like, they take that the wrong way. I don't know. You can't really say that they want to get to know you. They'll make it seem like that, but well, they really want to do the same that thing. That turns into the zone. Yeah. That mm -hmm. changes to a whole They'll different break. type of thing. So would you rather someone pretend to be your friend until they can or... True. Or mm. I, ra I feel like if I'm in the friend zone and I'm getting like, I could you could tell it. But anyways, you could tell if they want you for what for what they want you for. But yeah. I'm saying like you're gonna keep that platonic. If it's in the friend zone, you don't want somebody to just be fing on. Then you're gonna you gonna build a relationship to where y'all actually want to be around each other, and it's gonna be in the friend zone. Y'all not even gonna be messing with each other at that point. Yeah. I got another question to go around the panel, starting with uh, you, uh, okay. Samasia. Mm -hmm. Um, how many guys do you have in your friend zone? Mm, probably like one, two, three. You said one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, Girl, because make up your mind. I'm, I think I just counted them all up, but <laughs> I'm so going to say approximately three. All right. And uh, what about you? About two. You got, so she got three, you got two. Um, Lexi, how many you got? Like one. You got one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Sarah. I like to keep them there. I like to just keep them there. <laughs> well, how many do you have in friend zone? <laughs> that's a that's a good question. Yeah. All of them. Um, yeah, like a lot of them are in the friend zone. <laughs> Everyone. They're just there. Give me an estimate. <laughs> like how many guy friends? Yeah, have? yeah. How many guys you got in friend zone? Like you you know deep down like <laughs> they probably want to nail. They want to smash. But <laughs> Hell yeah, will. but that doesn't mean I. No, no, treat I know that way. you don't treat it that way. So I'm, I'm, my question is, how many guys that you have as friends, but deep down you know that they want to smash? Probably like ten or eleven. Ten or eleven. Okay. And Elena. <laughs> I'd say friend zone. Oh no. Not. Yeah, yeah, friend zone. Yeah, I don't really got nobody in the friend zone. I either keep them like close to me and on my body, or like associate type. Like, I don't have no friends. I'm not okay. close with nobody. Like, even females, I'm not really close with nobody. I just keep to myself. I don't even tell nobody my business. So, I, I don't know. For me to get close with you as a yeah. friend, I probably want to f*** on you, too. So, if it's a, if you talking to a dude, you you Trying to get to know you, but, like... Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, I mean. involved, you saying. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, okay, uh, fair enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's no fugazi. Uh, so, ladies, the difference between friend zone and zone it's funny because all of you ladies have guys in friend zone right so women usually put guys in friend zone and men usually put women in zone it doesn't go the other way around because women hold the key to sex. so that's that's you know friend zone meaning that if he likes you well you're not getting sex, so you're in a friend zone right men hold the key to commitment meaning that he already hit it but it's up to him to elevate you. 
Make sense? So women are the only ones that get put in the zone and guys are the only one that get put in friend zone. So um, just a, pers a perspective here, right? Because all of you ladies spoke about the female perspective. And I think everyone agreed with that sex zone was like the worst because you ladies thought about from the female <clears throat> perspective because that's what usually happens with y'all. We all like a guy and you know uh maybe the relationship really is like it could be complicated but um he's not elevating you to girlfriend status or wifey status he's just hitting it and not elevating you and that sucks because y'all yeah, say yeah you know sex zone kind of sucks because i like him and i don't really know where this is going stuff like that right so that was the female's perspective but here's the male's perspective because y'all didn't even think about that right so the male perspective is that friend zone is that we want to hit all you said you got 11 think about each of those 11 guys that you have in friend zone they all want to clap your cheeks sir except right? I'm Hold just, up, wait. They all want to <laughs> clap cheeks, right? And you may text them and stuff like that. And you know that, though. You know that they want to clap cheeks, right? But, you know, they, they put in a game, you know, every, you know, here and there. Well, you may not notice it because you got them in friend zone and that's, you're not supposed to notice it. You get what I'm saying? But they're putting the Mac, however they could put in. Maybe they're giving you free weed. Maybe, maybe you need a ride somewhere and they're like, oh yeah, I got you. I got you. They're doing these things because they want to hit. Niggas don't just do stuff for free. Mm -hmm. No human beings really do stuff for free without expecting something in return. Yeah, not that special. Niggas want to hit. So, <laughs> so the facts is that these, the, the, the male perspective is that guys that you have in friend zone they hurting right now just like y'all hurting when y'all was in sex zone when you really crushing on that dude and he not elevating you like well why he's like making up these lies and stuff and it's like he's like incongruent with what he's doing and it's like a game almost it's like he's saying one thing but doing another like does he like me does he not is he ever going to give me that commitment but no he's just digging in your guts the whole time you never getting elevated a year go by or months go by you never get elevated just like dudes 11 of your dudes, three of yours, two of yours, and put it pretty much right here. Y'all got about 50 dudes in, in friend zone that want to smash y'all. Like, that's how serious it is. You feel what I'm saying? 50 dudes right now is probably thinking about you. They're going to watch this podcast like, damn, I could put it, probably put it in the move here. Cooley helping me out. I think I could do this now. Nah, nigga, y'all not getting helped out. They're going to keep you on friend zone. The reason why they got y'all in friend zone because y'all inadequate, y'all lacking. Um, but does that give y'all the male perspective? So that same innate feeling that you feel in sex zone, it's like uh, the same thing on a guy end. But I truly think, you know, the friend zone, it's like you feel the effects immediately. Like think about like you like this chick and, you know, you the guys go out the way for y'all. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Yeah, You're they right. go out the way for y'all. Y'all could easily hit up a nigga and he'll send you 40 for cash out. All y'all can get 40 right now. For Matter of fact, we about to try it. <laughs> we should try this. Matter of fact, uh, yo, Sarah, get your oh phone. Oh, my God. We going to try it. Get, your, get Sarah's phone. Because she got 11. 11. You got at least one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I do not ask people for money No, this like is good. This though. is good. But this is, is going to be for the podcast purposes. You'll send it back. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you how, be very how these niggas move. Yeah, the red one. Get your phone out. I seen you send a message. I'm going to tell you what to do. But after that, you're going to text and be like, JK, I was on a podcast. I'll send the 40 right back to you. Okay. So this is just to see if he's going to do it. Right. So you got to play the game. So what was your first text? Hey, send me $40. I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm desperate. Ah. <laughs> okay. You said send me $40. I'm desperate. What do you say? What's wrong? Be like, I need $40. It's an emergency. You know, actually, actually, actually say no. now I need a hundred. It's an emergency. Might as well see if you can get a hundred since you already jacked it up. Say a hundred. Say a tire blue or something. You want to no, got no bread. What did it say? Read it out loud. <laughs> I need 80 for some weed. You want to smoke? Okay, good enough. You need 80 for some weed. All right, send that to him. Now let's see if he sends better. it back. That sends that $80 though. That ain't desperate. And he texts back pretty quick. So we going to get this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she did. She yeah, did she have to look through her phone. Back. She so, said, "Yeah, this so guy." So wait, you said say read typing. the text message out loud. Typing, Why is you typing so fast, <laughs> bro? <laughs> Except for weed, is crazy. 
<laughs> that's how these niggas in the friend zone be. But listen, though, listen, though. You can't be you if you a friend on, If you egged it on, I know he'd send it. Read the text messages out loud. It's like an emoji. Okay, so I said, I need 80 for some weed, want to smoke. And he said, bruh, Sarah. And I sent, like, the little, like, crying eyes. Like, so the you'll little, say, like, I'll send it back. Say, I'll give it back. And I said, I'll share. Bet you his ass. He share, said he'll share my weed that I buy. You with said his that you'll share his share the weed mm-hmm. with the money that he sends me. Okay. <laughs> we gonna we gonna do this. We gonna do this with all the loving niggas. The middle man we gonna see how much money all. we can get today. <laughs> <That's okay. sighs> This isn't a good All person. Right, this is like a homie. You don't really ask a homie? a homie for money. No, he's in a friend zone. He's, he's not in the friend for zone. a very long time. He smashed? No. He in a friend zone. No. Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yes. Can yes, we, smash. Like, I, I need to like establish a couple of things. There's like, nothing to the establish. Man's brain. No, no, it's not to establish. For the audience, <laughs> I need you to read the beginning of the text message on down and get the put the mic closer to you. All right. So we started with one of my guy friends. I said, "Hey, send me $40." I'm desperate. What's wrong? I need 80 for some weed. Want to smoke? Bro, Sarah. Some puppy eyes. I'll share. And then he said, LMFAO with a skull face. That's not the issue. Haha. <laughs> Plus, I'm in New Brunswick with, with my friend, who I also am mutual friends with. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, you having a regular convo. Just be like, are you sending it or not? Yeah, like, what's the issue? <laughs> if you said that's not the issue, what is? No, so you, you should. I think that you should say you got me. Question mark. Smartest. I know you got me, question mark. Yeah, say it like that. Uh, a little cocky. <laughs> and uh, anyone else want to get 40 today? <laughs> We're at 80 right now. Oh, We're yeah, not 80. even at 40. We doubled Anyone it. else want to get 40? You want to get 40? Well, oh, you said you got three. Wait, how many you got? <laughs> I don't got nobody. I'm talking oh, you, g- you good. You don't got any. How many you got? We can my sugar more, daddy already sent me money today. Sugar daddy. <laughs> good. You got three. I can you want to try it out? Mm, I can try like one. I don't. I <laughs> okay, where you where your phone at? Over there. Can you hear me? My phone It's the one on the charger. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Get your bag. Hey, we seeing <laughs> right sure? now how but much money we could collect down. from these niggas in the friend zone. <laughs> this is for all right. the niggas in the friend zone. Don't do Get that. Get out the friend zone. <laughs> Stop talking to these females. If they not give you no box, <laughs> leave. <laughs> We Let's don't go. want that nasty dick. What you mean? Leave. That's Wait, See, you I'm say? on the nigga side. You, that's that's why. Right. That's why you like. Oh, that's not because you want your forty. I'm gonna get all y'all forty today. So chill. You next. But you said we gotta send it back. Forty dollars. <laughs> you, you don't though. have to send it back if you don't want. But if you want to be a good you citizen, said you don't have to send it back. If you send it back. <laughs> all right. Can no. you guys help me? Create? All right. So this is what we doing. Uh, who the dude? You don't uh, gotta say the name. It's like my friend. How long you been your friend for? Like a year or two. Had him in friend zone? Yeah. And you know he want the box. And he probably do, but probably. He, he's like a loose. Oh, I don't. He like a, he like a what? Go ahead. I say the L word. I on the podcast. No. <laughs> hey, there's certain He a people. loser. No, That's no, what no, she just no, said. No, no, no. Nigga, you watching this right now. She said you're a loser. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all niggas in the friend zone, bro. They don't respect y'all. They do not respect y'all. They're I mean, on a podcast right now. She just got 80 from a nigga that's coming in. She about to get 40. I'm about to get her 100 right now from a sugar poppy. I already My got fact, it. I need a new camera. Get, one of these niggas will get me a camera. <laughs> now I'm playing with y'all. Uh, let's go. Um, okay. So say, not the whole desperate thing. Be like, hey, so-and-so, I'm in a situation right now. Can you send me 100? You got to beat her. A hundred? A hundred. We gonna say who could get the most money? Say a hundred. I need a hundred. I really need it. Say Uh, 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 eighty-five to beat her. And then we gonna go around and see if your sugar daddy get the ninety. So we don't just start off like that when we yeah, so, so, you can't so, just do that. Ladies and gents, that's, why I said I'm desperate that's watching the podcast right now. I want y'all to take a mental <laughs> note. Guys, take a mental note on how you niggas in a friend zone is losers, <laughs> cowards, and they don't respect you. Wait, can I rephrase like, this? This is all cap, I swear to God. No, that, that, can that, I rephrase that, one? Because I respect you guys 11. in the friend zone. Can I rephrase that's, that? I'm trying to true. get them out of the friend zone. Can I rephrase that? Okay, so I didn't mean to call him a loser. I meant to say he's more of a simp bro that's worse <laughs> that is worse but it's the truth uh niggas simp over you real bad okay fair enough real bad let's go um you sent I the said, first message yeah i, I said like hey can son. i ask you something it's very important okay i'll kind of offer mine if you want to call mine but we're not saying his name what uh did he send the 80 no he i'm like he kind of knows <laughs> i'm not gonna lie he's like he knows what he's like 
on the same level. Like, he knows something's up. I would never text him for money. All right, so you want to call another one? I was just going to call him, and then he'll actually send it. if I'm. Calling. Okay, yeah, call him. Let's see. All right, let's call this one. We asking for 100 now. I'm... Oh, speakerphone, speakerphone. Are you joking? Put it up more. Yeah, right there. Hey. <laughs> um, what are you doing right now? Are you at the gym? Hello, you hear me? Yeah. Are you at the gym? Hello, do you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you at the gym? Yes, sir. Uh, hello, sir. My bad. Are you at the gym? Yes, ma'am. I'm all. Uh, I got a quick favor And I know you're good for it And you know I'm good for it But I was wondering you calling me I thought you missed me Of course You know I miss you Um So It's kind of awkward But I'm gonna just ask Is there any way I could get like $80 from you? I mean Yeah Alright I can I sell it to you? That's 400. That's 400. Could you do 100? And then I'll explain later. Yeah, but, uh, Zell. Zell is fine because I don't have cash. Yeah, you got my number for Zell. Ask for 200. You got a Zell. Ask for 200. Yeah. Ask for 200. Oh, okay. Just 200. Right, I'll send it to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the point was to keep going up. Yeah, yeah, to keep going up. Yeah, to ask for two. Yeah, like, every time. Keep going up. We went to eat. We went to eat. And my boyfriend yeah, thinks yeah, I'm yeah. broke as fuck no, right now. Nice. Are you joking? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. He's wondering. He's like, what? he's like, you don't miss me. You're only calling me for money. Like, what? He ain't asked no questions. He's yeah, he said, he's he like, okay. Yeah, but he was like, okay. <laughs> what you want to zap? Yeah, so. Because I don't ask for money like that. That's the point of a friend zone. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you treat it better. You I got you a hundred dollars. You should be thanking me. So Cheerio to the audience, dinner. she literally got about to get a hundred dollars zell to her from a nigga in a friend zone, and she got eleven friend zone. We can get you eleven hundred. Call up another one. <laughs> we have to no just way. one more, last one, last one, last one, last one. I just want to see, just an experiment. And this one, follow my lead. When I tell you to go up, you go up. I can't see. I have glasses. I can't see okay. anything on that. When he tells yeah, you, yeah, I'm gonna tap you. I'm gonna tap you. Go up where? Where am I going? No, the number. The, the number amount. <laughs> and if they say that, like, that's funny. not his name. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this one too. My poor guy. And make sure your uh, volume turned all the way up. It's up, but we don't, the name of the phone is Hello? Hello? Hi. How are you? You were supposed to call me earlier. I, yeah, and when 7 o'clock hit, shit hit the fan on the highway, so it literally was like the worst time for me to call you. Turn the phone. All right, um, I have a quick favor to ask, and you can say no, but I think it would be better if you said yes. Um, <laughs> could you maybe possibly spot me a hundred? For what? It, uh, mm, I, mean, I mean, you know I'm always in trouble, but like, do you want the details now or later? I mean, everything's making me cry. You know that. Everything is making me cry. I'm going to send you this because it was absolutely shit. It's just a hundred. I'm not, I'm not going to go, go high. Please. Well, you can read that, and I have to pay that. I literally paid that. Okay. Are you sending me pictures of bills right now? Well, when you look at it, you're going to be like, holy fuck. I mean, you, yeah, I'm probably going to say that. All right. He, um, he's broke. He's okay. a broke friend zone. It's not even a good friend zone. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, love you, bye. Bye.
Damn, didn't he? Right, yeah, I he's a back. he's a broke friend I'm zone. Just you should you actually get rid of him. Shit's gonna come out for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to look for a boyfriend, and now I got a legend for some guy friends that want to fuck. You should eliminate that friend zone. Let's continue on with some questions for the podcast. But this was funny for the viewers. If y'all just seen that, she got first the first dude. She went to eighty dollars, and then she increased it. All got a hundred from him, right? Yeah, 80 and then went to 100 and he still did it. And these other dudes would have did it too, but they was broke boys. <laughs> now, I, I, I would say if you would have been like, hey, you know, um, we can hang out like, you know, I always I always had a thing for you. <laughs> Um, you know. <laughs> well, then I'm getting a lot of money, but yeah, then you'll they be know I more don't blurred. mean that shit. Yeah, we, we, we could have like did it a different too. way, but yeah, that is wild. Thing. So, quick thing, right? Quick statement to the audience that's watching this, which I just witnessed, right? <laughs> Privilege is invisible to those who have it, right? And all you ladies are privileged, right? You all spoke about the sex zone being the worst is because that's what guys put you in, but you don't understand how bad friend zone is, right? Friend zone for men, because you ladies put men in friend zone, it's horrible. Literally, she called the dude a simp and a loser. Uh, I mean, you don't respect any of those dudes. It's simple. None of y'all respect the guys that y'all have in friend zone. That's not true. It's true because y'all not giving them pussy. A female only respects a guy <laughs> that she has sex with. That's a fact. <gasps> but, um, I object. That's not true. <laughs> That's not, not true. Yes, um, I did kind of say that I don't like the friend zone, like... Because I just hate acting oblivious to the fact that niggas want to fuck me. Like, so will the never... thing is why you don't respect the guys that you have in friend zone because you know that they want to smash you, but they don't have the courage to really be up front and to ask you to smash. Therefore, you don't respect them. You can't respect them because <laughs> they're cowards. I object again. I, I'm not going to say that I don't respect them. I respect them for not trying to get with me because then I don't want to like embarrass them or, you know, dub them. You respect them for not trying? Yes, I respect them for not trying. Because well, if well, I want you to be my well, friend, think that's about what it. I want. That's why they're in the friend zone because... You, they're not trying. Therefore, you don't respect them because the person that you would respect is the person that say you don't want to give sex to and they actually have the courage to hit hit on you and you're just like, you know what? I'm just not really feeling it. Your thoughts after that would be like, dang, he, you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be a more, a, a more, your mental mind frame, you would hold that person that actually tried that you rejected with more respect than a person that you know that want that that you know that want to smash, but he doesn't have the courage to approach you like that. Trust me, you would. Mm. Go ahead. I, I don't agree with that. Okay. I really I don't. Agree what with don't that. you agree with that? I really respect that friend that's not trying to throw it out there that he just wants sex from me because you got more respect for me. That's how I look at it. But the thing, what I'm saying is, is that. You can't respect someone if they don't respect themselves. So what Absolutely. my point is, is that those men in a friend zone don't respect themselves. Therefore, you can never respect them. My only thing is maybe we don't want them to try to get with us. That's the only reason why I say I respect them for not trying to get with me because I actually want them as a friend. That's why they're in a the friend zone. That doesn't bother okay. your ego, so, though. So, ladies, ladies, mm -hmm. let me, let me, let me. Uh, I don't give them the opportunity. I don't give them like. I don't know how to explain it. My point is that he don't respect himself. His friends don't respect him, right? He that's You're the girl that he don't even tell his friends about. He only tells his friends about the girl that he's hitting. He don't tell his friends about the girl that he can't hit. It's like, dang, I, I've been trying to get this box forever. But I, he probably tell him like after after he got the box, like, yo, I've been trying to accomplish this mission for a minute, but I finally <laughs> accomplished it. <laughs> Men tell, tell each other about the successes, usually. I mean, if it's a guy on guy friend, they've been friends for a while, He'll share like, man, I've been trying to get this forever, but I couldn't. But when he finally does, he'll still champion that that success. But do you get what I mean? Like the guy in friend zone, no one respects him and he doesn't respect himself because he doesn't have the courage to talk to and be <laughs> honest with you. We him. need we need to speak. <laughs> yeah, we need you, go ahead, Lexi. Lexi. you go first. All right. Mm -hmm. So like. All right. So I got my own little situation going on. You know what I'm saying? And like we're friends. Yeah. But we also be fucking, but we can hang out as just friends. Like, we don't got to have sex every time. Like, it's cool. Like, his boys, like, know about me. Like, we hang out and we go out in public together. But, but that's not my that. man. Like, that's not my man. So are we in the friend zone or, like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, a, that's like a real gray area to be you in. You mean, like, yeah, friends? And, like, I feel like, I feel like also, like, it plays a part against my ego when it comes to stuff like that. Because it's like, why don't you want to wife me? 
but like That's we could still go out and put like like it's real confusing like yeah. why is we going on dates but i'm not your girlfriend right yeah that's the same way guys <laughs> friends why are you so why are you hitting me up and asking me for 40 dollars or 80 dollars or 100 dollars and we never even really met we never even hung out you feel what i'm saying yeah guys still feel that too oh um, my god you made him send me money oh we lit how much he said <laughs> oh my god are you fucking how much he said money for my how much my did he say tell the number <laughs> are you fucking how much money yeah <laughs> <laughs> where are we going after this how much you send oh he did want to link after it was a hundred bucks for my friend my so friend all right not friends with benefits Kev, get not... the phones you already said <laughs> yeah get the phones hundred dollars because he wanted to be more than friends that's why he's hitting you up that's why he's hitting and, you and up. wait which one sent the hundred the one that said he was broke no oh the one that said he was gonna send it mm. the one that was at the gym Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, he was. We knew he was gonna send it. Yeah, he he. You could have got two hundred from him because I was going up. This was the one you were supposed to bid on. You probably. Can we? You probably could have got you a new car. Out of out of four of the. He was the auction. He was the auction. Out of four of the five people, all asked me what's wrong. That shows genuine concern. It's not like I'm hitting them up on the down low. Listen, listen. Asking for money every couple days. So 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 Sarah. There's no genuine concern. He doesn't like you at all. He wouldn't care if you died, to be honest. He wants to hit. He what knows that sending you $100 gets him a step closer to getting in between them draws. If you were to call him right now and be like, yo, I want to link, like, let's fuck. Like, what do you think he would say? Yeah. Go, yeah. go ahead. You got a question? How many boyfriends would send their, their people $100? A man that has a girlfriend, he should send his woman money. Of course. If she needs it, that's he's given someone commitment to. That's a relationship, right? But a man that has a girl that he's talking to and maybe they're having casual sex, mm. that man shouldn't be sending her anything at all. If it's maybe if they known each other for a long time, maybe like a year or something like that, maybe that's a little different. She needed, you know, I, I don't the, the masculine, the masculinity and the man help her out. Oh, um, but but if the dude is in a friend zone, he shouldn't be sending anything. You know what I'm saying? He should nothing at all. But let's move on to um, another question on the podcast. I think we nailed this one in the head. <laughs> Thank you for participating and you too, even though he ain't pick up. Oh, yeah. He actually called me back, but. Uh... Oh, he called you back. <laughs> yes. This guy all right, all right, all right. Last one, last one, last one. Call him back. He's going to send it. I already know he's going to send okay, it. Okay, yeah, so, so perfect, he's perfect. To... Call him back. You could just always send it back to him. Call him back. Yeah, we just want to get that yes. Me. Who got Zell? We don't, we don't need it. We just want to get the zest. Yes. Huh? We just want him to say yes if you're going to say yes. Because <laughs> I want the audience to notice. So go ahead. Call him. Hello? Um, I need to ask you something. Can you do me a favor? Like, I'm out right now. Um, I can explain the situation to you later, but I need like forty dollars, fifty dollars on Cash App right now. You don't have Cash App. You don't have Cash App. Yeah, I don't. Um, can you sell it to me? Okay. Um, I'm gonna send you a number. You gonna send me a number? Yes, I'm gonna send you my sister's number. I don't have Zill. Where are you? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm just stranded right now. Um. Okay. So, do you want? Would you like for me to send the number now? Okay. Um. Can you? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. This is just too much right now. Like it's stressful. Good job. Um, uh, sorry, hold on one second. I don't know. What'd you do? That's what I'm doing. I'm making up. He's mad quiet. I don't like that. He's too quiet. So what? Just ask for 100. Like, it don't matter. Hard. He already can't do that. He said 50, yeah, because I'm like, how much? And you just like, eh. so I said 40, 50. I am yeah, no, okay. Let's see how much we can get from him. <laughs> and like, uh, it's an emergency. These <laughs> niggas need a sip. I'm, I'm, I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm sorry. My phone keeps acting up, but can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? 
Can you send me a hundred? I know that's like a lot, but can you send me a hundred? Yeah. Okay. You gotta beat the That's white fine. Girl. You gotta beat the white girl. You gotta beat the white girl. You gotta get a hundred. You gotta beat the white girl. 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 I'm sorry. Oh, what did you say? Where you don't beat it? I'm gonna give you my girl. number. Send this L over here. Okay. I'm gonna send you a number right now. Okay. All right. Thank you. He said he'll send it. Hey, man. Hey, fuck you. Listen, man. Listen, listen, man. Man, you ain't running off of my head. Hey, 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 hey. My little buck. Listen. You better get that. Niggas is really simps out here sending girls no money, bro. Bullshit. They don't respect you. She called you a simp. Let's. She called him a loser. Loser, bro. It's, a loser. It's, uh, oh, man. <laughs> I told you to get two hundred dollars. The white girl got a hundred. Yeah, but you're supposed to beat the white girl. I'm scared. You know, I said forty you're fifty like at first. All the years of slavery, like, you you was supposed to. <laughs> that we've been in. You were supposed to show what you could do <laughs> and get a hundred. <laughs> two hundred, I mean. No. I'm good. All right. All right. This was he good. He sounded a little stressed out already. I right, uh, message him and be like, "JK, unless you want the hundred, but I don't think y'all should do it. Send the money back to the oh, guys. Oh, you say it after. Yeah, you know, don't take, <laughs> don't take their <laughs> money. I, think I'm gonna I don't want y'all ladies to be taking know. money from <laughs> you simps. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that <laughs> yeah, part it's like of it. Unless I want it, but unless I'm you want too, it, so, I'm too You know, I don't agree with that. Message him back and be like, you know, this is just a joke. Da da da. I just will just keep it. No, don't keep it. If they want to keep it, they can keep it. They see it. I'm not keeping mine. Mine's already sent back. Okay, hers is sent back. You lying, Sarah? <laughs> now you, 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 you want to compete so with the white girl? No. I was supposed to cry when I saw that they sent it. I'm like, my guy, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, okay. I know he'll send it. Holy That's why shit. I'm like, uh, JK, he oh, don't. He do that to other girls. You oh really need that, honey, don't you? Oh, you no, I don't. So I'm about to, I know, but I don't know what to say now. He's going to see the podcast. Just say, no, I was playing. Exactly. You better tell him it was a joke. It was a podcast. Tell him it was a joke. Yeah, yeah. Be like, it was goddamn wild. I'm on the podcast. I'm too picky. That's why they stay in the friend zone. So we're going to get on to more questions on the podcast. We was kind of just did an exercise plan around we didn't really talk about too much stuff um so we're gonna spend the next wait maybe 45 minutes speaking about some stuff starting with uh you elena which is worse a woman with a hundred body count or a man with a hundred body count and explain why what's worse yeah i would say a woman with a hundred body count just because it's the way that motherf like motherfuckers look at it i don't know guys just don't really give a fuck about their body count <laughs> At all, <laughs> they just be they just be smashing a smash. And girls, whether they want to help it or not, they get emotionally attached to the guys they be messing with. Well, most of the time, some some girls are different. Some girls are different breeds. Some girls move like yeah. men. But if you move like men, then you move like a man. But the way people view it, and especially guys, guys view sex way differently than a woman. So if you just going around catching them, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so you're saying that the woman is worse because. Men and women view sex differently. And you explain why. Okay. Move right along. Sarah, what do you think is worse? A woman with a hundred body count or a man with a hundred body count? So being a woman, yeah. um, I know other women. And I feel like after a hundred guys, you just are not tight anymore. <laughs> like you're just not the same you know as when you originally started. Okay. So from a guy's perspective, yeah, that's kind of their logic. From a girl's perspective, I mean... Why do you need a hundred girls before you finally meet the one? Like, yeah. why, are you, why are you getting so much practice? For what? And it's kind of the same thing with girls. Um, I'd say probably a girl that girl has worse. hundred. Girl worse. Okay. Fair enough. And uh, Lexi, uh, which is worse? I feel like a whore, a whore is a whore, no matter what gender they are. So like if you're a guy with a hundred body count or you're a female with a hundred body count, you're still a whore. A whore is a whore. Yeah, like I don't believe a man can be a whore. Men are whore not? makers. No, Why can't a man be a whore? Okay. So if you say if right, so so basically what you're saying is right. If you go and you fuck three bitches right now, you're not a whore. But if I go and fuck three niggas right now, I am. So let me ask you a question. Y'all still whores? No, let me ask you a question, right? Me and you playing Mortal Kombat, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and I'm playing it on hard mode. But I beat the game. Okay. You play it on easy mode. And you beat the game. 
Okay. Who has more respect out of the two of us? I mean, you obviously. You because play I played it on hard mode, right? So that's the difference between men and women. Men play sex on hard mode. Women play sex on easy mode. So you having sex with three men is no not much. respectful. We don't respect you, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, we call them whores. A man has sex with three women. It was hard to do. You had to put in that work to get that, right? Not when you're good looking. Wrong. Generally speaking, most men have a hard time getting women. One in three men between the ages of 18 and 30 is either a virgin or celibate or haven't had sex in a year, right? Mm -hmm. So that's 33% of men in the United States getting no cheeks. What generation are, right. are we speaking of? <laughs> men Who's between generation? the ages of 18 and 30. This generation? No. How hard are they They're trying? trying are they putting that's, that's literally Gen Z and that's It's the fact that a girl could just as well. literally have sex with anybody and a guy has to try and have sex with somebody. A girl, yeah. Yeah. It's like, an easy concept to get. Like so this is fact. what I'm saying, right? That's not a fact. So, I mean, a guy does have to try. They have to do something to get a girl it's to easy. want them. But it's, it's, easy. it's easy, but it's easy for like a girl too. It's the same it's in the my shit. Yeah. So yeah, I'll finish it and I'll let you go. So this is what I'm saying, right? So just like the video game, right? So you play the video game on easy mode. I play it on hard mode. I get the respect. You don't get the respect. That's why the woman that is sleeping around, she's a whore. The man that is sleeping around, he's a whore maker. It's harder for him to do. And also it's simple as give and get, right? Right. Well, if you give something, right? The person that's giving something, no one cares about. The person that gives an award, no one's clapping for the person that gave the award. The person that right. gave money, oh, you did a good deed, no one cares. But the person that gets money is like, oh, you made a come up. You get right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The person that gets the reward, everyone is clapping for that person that got the reward. Women give sex, so we don't care. Men get sex. That's why when I smash some new pwn, the homies is like, my <laughs> nigga. You feel me? It's, it's a give and a get. This just We're social creatures. This is the psychology of men and women and how we perceive sex between one another. And just how we perceive things just generally based off of what's easy is not respected. And what's hard is respected. Now, I'll take it a step further, right? So think about in society, right? All the jobs. All the jobs that build the infrastructure in America pays more. Mm -hmm. So think about it. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Those four industries pay the most because they literally build the infrastructure of the society. You know, I'll think about a bartender or a nurse or, uh, you know, um, a, a, someone working at a call center. They don't get paid that much or someone working in a warehouse. They don't get paid that much. But the person that is building something, an architect, you know, an engineer, you know, those people get paid a whole lot more. Their salaries are just higher because the harder something is, the more respect you get, which means it's, it's more monetary gain. The right. easier something is, you don't get a lot of respect. Niggas that's moving trash and picking up trash, they get paid nothing, right? The janitors, they don't get paid that much. The principal, he gets paid a whole lot. But I'm sure maybe the janitor maybe even does more work than the principal. But it takes more competence to be a principal than it does to be a janitor. So it's a competence level as well. So it's multiple factors, multiple ways where I could break it down, which a woman is a whore, a man is a whore maker. Um, you had something, right? Uh, men can be hoes. Mm -hmm. I ain't no men being no hoes. I hoe. know a hoe. I know a few of them. No, no, you know a nigga that's been clapping cheeks and he out here being successful. No, no. Wow. You said men can be whores. I feel as though they really can be. No, know. no men is being a whore, baby. Um, I, have a question. I disagree. You, or why you disagree? Men can be whores. Explain well why. The women, because what makes you think that it's okay for you to sleep with three women and you're not a whore, but if she sleeps with three men, she's a whore. That's the thing. Y'all both doing the same thing. So you're let me at, let me speak to I her. I understand oh. he explained no, that, wait a second. but no, no. you're still whoring. Wait you're giving your no. body up just as well as she's giving her body up. So, so no one said too. no one said throughout this conversation wait. that it was a respectful or good thing I to do. I just was about to. So let me speak to her real quick. So that's not the point. That's not the argument, right? Mm -hmm. We're not talking about is it morally right right you're not a whore maker you're a whore no a man can't be a whore <laughs> yes. at all it's impossible for a man to be a whore uh, let's just bring it back let's play it real simple right because i don't think y'all understand logic <laughs> so we're going to do this so what does the opposite sex view and view in woman that makes them valuable what's one of those things that the opposite that men look in woman that makes y'all valuable what's one of those things Facts. No, no, besides the sex, but what else? Looks. Like, 
Oh, okay, but valuable in a sense of like they want to marry Actual you. What? Knowledge, knowledge, yeah. No niggas don't care about it. Cooking, cooking, they do. They what do. you can do. Cooking, yeah, clean, okay, okay. Being a wife, a homemaker. Being a wife, okay. I'll tell you, right. So the thing, the, one of the things that men look for to like give a ring to a woman is purity, mm-hmm. right? So that's what we value in a woman. We value purity. You get what I'm saying? And what's one of the things that women value in men? How many pure men have you met lately? Money? No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't say men. men. How hey, many pure women men have I ever met sorry, in my life? Sorry, pay attention. I didn't say men. I said women. Women value, men value purity in and women. women. Not, I'm not saying that men are pure. That's not what I'm saying. So now my question is, what do women value in men? Oh, honestly, and this is coming from... No offense, ladies, <laughs> but this is coming from a lot of women that I know personally. Okay, sure. They look at men as money. Mm. Okay, perfect. They just perfect. want the money. Okay, perfect. And and peel the layer back. What is money? Peel that layer back. <laughs> what you can do for me. Masculinity. Okay, so financially. P- providing. There we providing. go. So money. Yes. Money is, is comes, if you peel the layer back, is that if he has money, you see a future, which means that he could provide for you, right? Mm-hmm. So perfect so men we look for purity in a woman Mm -hmm. right and women they look for uh money from a man so they they look for a provider right Mm -hmm. so now we're going to connect the dots because i my point is that men are whore makers and women are whores so think about this right since you don't look for purity in me i can smash a thousand girls you get what i'm saying you don't look for purity in me right Gotcha. But no, you didn't get no, me. Oh, yeah. But guess <laughs> what? I me. look for purity in you. I look for all men. We look for purity in women. Right. So no, if you're not pure, sure. you know, this is what I'm saying. If you're not, if you women aren't pure, then that's every guy you have sex with, the more you lose value. It's that just is, a that fact. That's true. I every agree with woman that. men have but sex with. What makes with? you think that us as women respect a man that sleeps with multiple women? Because me personally, I don't. It's very simple. Um, you wouldn't even talk to the guys that couldn't sleep with women. What? <laughs> you wouldn't, wouldn't notice the dudes that couldn't sleep with women. I I don't like you when the last time you went back. to CVS. About three days ago. And and um, di- you you ain't noticed no guys in there, did you? Oh man! <laughs> exactly. The reason why you ain't noticed them because those niggas in there ain't getting no box. They work at CVS. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So you don't notice the guys. You only <laughs> notice the men that's getting pussy. So those is the guys in the VIP section with the bottles. Those is the niggas that's pull up in a nice Benz or a nice car. But those is the I niggas that's... I don't look into those type of men. I mean, What'd you say? I don't look for that type of man. I don't look for a flashy... I don't like flashy niggas. I'm not saying about so flashy. I'm, I'm just, just saying. Fla- don't, they don't gotta be all flashy. That's just me. That's... That's just me That's saying, not my body because all of that could be a little stunt right there. It, it could be a little stunt. But my point is, is that women look for men that has experience. The Absolutely. more experience. OK, so think about it. Right. You want an experienced man. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Guys want to. So since you want an experienced man. Obviously, you don't want a virgin. Correct. Right. So that means that you want a guy to be experienced sexually. You want him to be experienced I mean, socially. I mind teaching him if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's even better. But I wouldn't mind. You, you 34. You. That's why you're saying you wouldn't mind teaching them. I wouldn't mind at all. That's why God wants I purity. They want to be the first. To yeah, yeah. But I would mind. first everything. So, they so, be so let's keep it. Cool. Let's keep it concise. I'm gonna get to y'all, ladies. This is this our first conversation, literally on the panel. So we we, we gonna go in deep in this, and we gonna go around. Right. So what I'm saying is, you. St- my point is, is that since men value purity in women. Mm-hmm. When you have sex with multiple men, you lose value. Absolutely. So therefore, you are a whore because we value purity. So the more pure you are, the more higher your value is. Right. right? So you lose value. But if I sleep with, but if when men sleep with women, in order for them to sleep with women, they have to be valuable to some degree. So when men sleep with women, it's not saying that they had value. Mm-hmm. They have to have some type of value, but mostly when men sleep with women, they express their value, right? Because it takes a valuable man to sleep with multiple women because it's it's hard to do. Like the video game. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to go through more hur- hurdles in this video game and fight harder uh, 
go through harder challenges and difficulties in this video game to beat it. For you, it's much easier, so it's not respected. And then not only that, just bi bi biology tells you that men desire purity in you. And when you give away your purity, you lose your value, which makes you a whore. You don't value purity in me. So I could smash every girl on this couch. Including you, yeah, and another yes. chick is still yeah. asking me to marry them. Yeah, no, <laughs> but okay. Because, hypothetically speaking, hypothetically, hypothetically yes. speaking, yeah. I can sleep with all y'all right on now. Both ends, it would both be hoist to me. Like, okay. I, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. I guess can we'll you say something? rotate this way for a second. Yeah, rotate really dying. Back away. I guess like we'll agree to disagree here. for now. But before I get to this couch, you had something. Yeah, I was gonna say. I just feel as though there's. Us not looking for purity within you is no reason to disrespect yourself or lose respect for yourself. Because it's like you're throwing, like, you're just fucking anything. You can't lie. Niggas will fuck anything. No, no, that's not the point. But yes, like guys, but y'all would. No, but no. but my only thing with that is like no. it's like y'all don't respect oh y'all bodies. Like y'all don't get checked. No, no, ladies, ladies, ladies. Let's, let's keep it they concise. Don't do none let's of keep that. it concise because like, y'all are wrong. That's not the point. We're wrong because, because it's no, no, <laughs> doesn't want to be no, no. You don't even privilege is invisible to those who have it. Like I said it before. Yeah. You saying that oh guys will smash anything. If he has the ability to smash anything, um, some most of them men can. don't have the ability to smash anything. You only look at the dudes that have the ability to be smashing stuff. By anything, I mean niggas be smashing crackheads. Like, <laughs> niggas will fuck whatever they can fuck, and I'm but not that's lying. A, that isn't even, that's nothing because that's a something? low value person anyway. So it's just two low value people messing with each other. So is it not a fact that every man has a back kill? Yo, ladies, ladies, the side comments, I just need it down to a level. The mics pick up everything. I'm going to get to your couch. Don't worry. I'm going to get to this couch. Go ahead. Is it a fact that every man has a bad kill? Or a, a bad female kill? that's not it? Obviously, like, all the way not it. Like I mean, you move in a goalpost. What does that have to do with anything? Like, with the conversation? Um, I'm just asking. Does, do you guys not have bad kills? Because it's like, I see it a lot. I see it well, a lot. Well, men are only as faithful as their options and not even faithful. If they're single, they're only as... They're only as, you know, sexual as get the options that they into. have. But they only get that, into what they can get. Does that not mean that they'll, like, kill anything? Well, like now, so you're moving to goalposts to standards. Women, women have higher standards than men have standards. We're not talking about standards, right? Standards and a whore is totally, totally different, right? You can have, just because you have, for instance, just because a woman has high standards, she only smashed millionaires, well, she got smashed by two hundred million. Yeah, she's yeah. a whore. She's yeah. still a whore. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So standards doesn't. That's a whole different topic. We all yeah. common sense know that this men is, have less standards. Yeah, this is more so a respecting. It's a re, it's a conversation Basically. around respecting yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Re, you should respect yourself. No, and you. you should not be sleeping around. <laughs> Basically, we man. got holes. We got <laughs> the holes. We should have multiple dicks inside of us. Mark. Okay, let's get on. It, it lessens the value. That's exactly fair enough. Basically. Let's get on to this couch. Who wanted to go first? All right. Let's I see. feel like if a man has some money, he is liable to kill anything. All right, put the. Oh, if a man has the money, he's liable to kill anything. Like, like she said, it's men out here having sex with crackheads because you could pay a crackhead twenty dollars, and she'll do whatever. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you can say like, yeah, there's some men out there that might not be able to fuck for free. But I mean, there's bitches selling pussy all over. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, isn't that the same thing though? And what kind of respect is that that you have for yourself that you pay him for a pussy? Yeah, and then yeah. you said purity. Yeah, purity. Well, well, that's, that's purity. well, that's 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 still moving the goalpost. The guys that pay for a vagina, those are um, weird and like low value got low value men. Not only that, um, that's you know shameful. It's disgusting, it, and it's more disgusting on, on the woman's side, not on the man. Is 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 gross and dirty? Like, dude, you give it you you you're so low value and so socially unaware and, and unsocially calibrated and not a man and have no masculinity that you have to pay a woman for sex like yeah he's just a low value man but the woman that's using her body for money that's horrible i mean the bible says that they're both very terrible 
um, like equally terrible, I, I guess you could say. Yeah. But what's the point on the topic of whore and whore maker? But that's what I'm, because I'm I'm touching on the fact that you said that there's some men out there that that don't get nothing. Thir but I feel like there's literally not like like if you're a man, it's not like it's impossible. Even if you're the ugliest, dirtiest, fattest, no money having motherfucker, you get what I'm saying? You like, said that he could still, pay for sex. Yeah, like there's still a possible yeah, way that you can that. get. But I'm like. I'm just trying to touch on the fact Turn it though, this way. that yeah, there you, go. you said, right, there's men out there that get no vagina. None. Yeah, and you're saying that they can if they, they pay can, for it. They can, yeah. So therefore, they can be whores too. It's just in a different way. It's Does not, it make you less of a whore because you're paying for it? Yeah, yeah, no. It's not <clears throat> saying that. So think about it, right? So it is. this is the facts, ladies. One in three men in the United States between the ages of 18 or 30 are literally virgins or celibate, meaning like they haven't had sex in a whole year, right? So that's 33% of men, 30% of, 30, 30 of men out there that's not having sex. Mm -hmm. So regardless if they could pay for it or not, like it's invisible because you don't know what it takes to as a guy, right? So think about it, right? The guys that, aren't getting sex are the dudes that's playing video games eating cereal in their mom's basement right <laughs> they're they're not asserting themselves they have no backbone um they're not masculine they have they have no ambitions at all right right and normally those men are socially awkward right meaning that even if they had the courage to talk to a girl they're shaking they're nervous you get what i'm saying like they don't have those social skills to court a woman right mm -hmm. because it takes a lot to court a woman which you ladies aren't aware with aware of so yeah i get what you're saying they can still pay for sex but that's still moving the goalpost without paying for sex they're not getting any sex but I, i'll i'll say that a lot of those dudes that's that's virgins and celibate some of them girls probably wouldn't even take the money if they <laughs> offered to pay because they're weird dudes. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not wrong. I just they're wanted fat. to film you. They're, yeah, it's, it's awkward, but uh, which one, Sarah? Yeah, Sarah, you next. All right, so other than, like, this topic, just being a little sexist, um, I'd say that, like, women are more homemakers if treated well. So, like, if the guy is a complete whore, there's going to be no women at home to go back mm. to. There's going to be a lot of side bitches. There's going to be a lot of flings. There's going to be a lot of shit going down. But it's not going to be worth their while. It's, there's not... So, like, the expectation's a double standard with that purity. And the reason why I'm saying it is because if a man, if a man sets the expectation for their future woman to be pure, only a couple bodies, maybe fooled around a bit, but genuinely less than 20, maybe whatever their expectations are. So when the girl goes to ask and they can't get a number, guy doesn't remember, it's what acceptable, it's respectful. It makes us feel worth anything when the guy has been used, abused, and slept around all mm. of town. It doesn't make <laughs> a woman want to go home and settle down with a man. So when a guy is looking good. for purity in a girl, is she lying? How are you going to know? Have you been with her long enough to actually know if she's pure? So you're saying that women look for purity in men? I feel... The double standard for men to look for purity in women, not that all females look for purity in men, mm -hmm. but there's morals that we look for. Absolutely. Uh -huh. There's a lot mm -hmm. of morals that if you aren't living with someone for maybe two, three years in a committed relationship, you're not going to know all the, all the flaws. You're not going to know like what makes them tick and why they go out at 12 o'clock. Like, how many baby daddies are there that have have single okay. moms that are so sarah um you have 11 men in friend zone right and so you having 11 <laughs> your own life experience proves my point so i'm not speaking about if it's you know morally no one's saying that it's morally right for a man to have sex with a lot of women that's not the point i'm i'm speaking about what it is right not how it should be how so, it so we want to go back on my 11 guys in the friend zone what morals do they have that I don't find acceptable? Why have I not let them close to me? Why have I kept them there for years? Why do they choose to stay there? It's because I have something that 
is my morals that they like, they gravitate to. They see me even in relationships and they still check on me. They'll be like, hey, is he treating you good? Like, Sarah. Not because they're side pieces. Sarah. Not because I've touched them. Not because they've touched me. Sarah, here's the reality. All the guys you have in friend zone, you may think that, oh, yeah, they care about me and this and this. No, they just want to smash. They and if they did, that doesn't matter because they're not doing anything. Yeah, but yeah, you're still moving the goalposts around a whole lot. So let's I'll bring it back in for you, right? So the point is we're having this discussion, and I'm not saying that men sleeping with a lot of women is a good thing. Makes them whores. No. You said men can't be whores. Men can't be whores. They we can. are whore makers. No, can't it's well, impossible for a man to be a whore. But anyways, a look. Maker. But anyways, here's what whore I'm saying, maker. right? So you're moving the goalpost with the whole moral thing. That's that's cool. We could have that conversation um, about, you know, men sleeping with a lot of women and women sleeping with a lot of men. And you're saying that it's a double standard and it's a double. It's the only I would say really it's the only double double standard that men have that women. It's the only double standard that benefit men that don't benefit women, meaning that men can sleep around with a lot of women and they don't have any social shame. But when you ladies sleep around with a lot of men, you experience social shame. But it's not even social shame from other men. You experience social shame from other women. Because the first thing you ladies do, say if you're mad at her, you're mad at Lexi, you're going to be like, oh, that whore, that slut. That's the first shaming term that women <laughs> use against one another. So it's not even men. Because men, guess what? We like hoes. We're going to smash hoes. That's just what niggas do. But women shame, women shame women more than men shame women on this topic. So the double Double standard, fair enough. It is a double standard, but life is full of double standards. You could sell feet pics on OnlyFans and make so, some good money. All porn stars that are women get paid 70% more than what the men get paid for, right? You could make a OnlyFans Crazy. and get paid some bread by selling your sexuality. I'm a fairly attractive guy, but I can't sell my sexuality the way a woman can sell her sexuality, right? It could be a 400-pound woman, and I could be chiseled. I could be the most attractive man in the world. Women don't pay for sex. Men pay for sex. So that means that that 400-pound woman is still going to make more money than me. And niggas got to wear fetishes, too. But so let's bring it and make the conversation concise. No one's talking about the moral part of it. I get what you're saying. I'm not promoting men to be promiscuous or women to be promiscuous. That's not what we're doing here. We're just having a conversation about it. But go ahead. So bring it back to like the whore and the whore maker, uh, uh but I feel like, yeah, women could be whores, whatever, but when it comes to a guy, it's not the fact that they, they can do it. It's, it's harder for them. It's the fact that they continue to reach, say, say we're going to hundred, a hundred, a woman's hundred is way easier, even though they, they might get emotionally attached, it's easier to hit. And a guy, even though they get in praise for the, for the ones they hit, they had to try that much harder and continue to do it and put extra energy in to get them bodies so it's not like yeah like yeah it's it's cool because y'all doing it y'all could have sex fine but it's it also goes into how how desperate is the man to continue to go and to go and to go and to get them bodies or not even respect from other motherfuckers respect to the yourself to not want to hit all these these random females because it is harder even with the mortal Kombat thing like you said yeah we on easy mode so if anything it's it's less of an issue for us yeah. than if y'all on difficult mode y'all gotta grind to get to the same title that we get and we get in the same trophy but y'all did 10 times more work yeah and and another thing right that i want to speak because you hit it on it too you was alluding to it a little bit because you were saying like some girls find purity in men right that's total nonsense yeah y'all don't need that attraction, y'all don't care about that for real yeah attraction isn't symmetrical ladies right so meaning that what you're attracted to in a man the man isn't attracted to them same characteristic traits in you he's attracted to the opposite characteristic traits you want an experienced man what does it take to be experienced right it takes a lot to be experienced most women that's why most women find uh older guys attractive and most guys find younger women attractive because exactly. opposites just attract. No bullshit. Um, an older man usually wants a more feminine, uh, you know, feminine, kind, submissive, young, dutiful woman, fertile woman. That's what older. That's what all men want, right? And but women, she wants her guy to go through some stuff because most women, if they're in a relationship, they want their guy to lead. How can he be a leader if he never experienced and overcame adversities? 
Because then if y'all in a relationship and he never had to experience anything to overcome it, when a situation arises, you know, how can he really lead you through that situation? So you look for an experienced man, right? And a man have an experience, like the nigga that y'all slept with that had sex with y'all the best, Guess what? He had experience. So he was smashing Mad Jones to get a stroke like that. He was smashing Mad Jones to have the stamina like that. He was smashing Mad Jones to pick you up in the air and do all that stuff with you like that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, it took experience, but that's what you're attracted to, it's just right? It's not looked at negatively. Now, and, and it's not looked at negatively. Like, that's what you naturally gra gravitate towards. And men, we're different. Like, if we're just looking for sex from a woman... It, we'll we'll take you know a girl can have a we, we may not really care about a girl's body count that much but if we're looking for a girl we're going to give commitment to in a serious relationship yeah we want her to have a lower notch count and we won't know the notch count but we just want it to be lower because you know a uh, unexperienced woman is just more attractive like if i pull up in a nice car and she never been in it before, her eyes gonna light up. Oh my God. Right. But if I pull up in a nice car, but she's experienced, she's gonna talk to this nigga, talk to that nigga, she hop in my nice car, she gonna be like, oh yeah, I've been in one of these before. He's gonna be like, ugh. Oh you get what I'm saying? So it's just different. Like men, we wanna be the portal the to experience. your world. We wanna be the portal to all of your woman's world. How can we be the portal to your world if you transport it everywhere with other, every other nigga? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I get, I get if you transport exactly it with every other nigga, how can we be your portal? So it's just different. Opposites attract. But um, good stuff. Anybody got any questions? Get into the next one? No? All right, we gonna, uh, damn, we only really hit one question. We was doing that <laughs> experiment talking about mad. It was type lit. I ain't gonna hold you. It was type lit. We never did that before. Which gender lies to women the most? Men or women? Which gender um, lies to women the most? Yeah. Other women. Why? Because for real, like, you could be sitting in a room with a group of women and they could really all just hate you and you wouldn't even know. Like, men are more quick to be like... Yeah, I ain't feeling you to so have a good day to where women will be in your face like, oh, my God, girl, you look so good. Ah, whole time you look like a stuffed sausage and she out here trying to embarrass you. Like, <laughs> you feel me? Like women, yeah. women are fake. Like they're very, very fake. Like it's supposed to be women out here helping other women. And it's definitely not like she will just example. She'll be up in your face smiling, smiling on your face, knowing she just had your baby father's dick in her mouth. You feel me? Mm. And like, or you feel me? <laughs> She'll real low key hate you, but want to hang out with you every day because of the people that you be around. Yeah. You that know what I'm petty. saying? Or like some girls, like they hang out with girls because they feel like they look prettier than them. So they like elevate their their social status. You know what I'm saying? It's I really feel like women are other women's biggest haters, and it's really sad. Yep. Fair enough. What about you, sir? Guys lie. Men lie. <laughs> More than men, women. Are, men are really bad liars, but they lie a lot. Um, it's pretty, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's a unique feature. Who would you man. say lies more, men or women? I'd say men, yeah, men. But, like, who lies to women more? Men. Okay. Men lie men? to women more. Um, what about you, Elena? No, nah, I definitely think women lie more. Women just care more. They just, they care to be sneaky. They care mm -hmm. to keep stuff under and keep it in their pocket. But men, they just like, you feel me? I'm going to tell you how it is. I don't really care how you feel. We're going to move mm -hmm. on. We're going to move on. That's why I move like a man most of the time. But I don't really, I'm not going to hold it behind your back. I'm not going to talk nice about you to your face and then talk about you different. It's cool. Like, I'm not going to lie. But girls definitely be talking way more shit. And they be they be sneaky. They wanna mm -hmm. they wanna hide stuff. They wanna say little lies, little white lies. They think mm -hmm. it's girls probably lie on average a day like over a hundred times, right. over a hundred times. Right. Like, and then but they don't tell nobody. They keep it on the low. Like girls is just mad, sneaky, mad, manipulative. But it's the way they go through their life. Absolutely. Guys is more just like they gonna be open. If you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, fuck you moved it. on. Right. And I don't know. I think that's how everybody should be. But. Women That's lie how more. Women, women okay. is, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Moving right along. Uh, let me. Samasia. That was good. I uh, yeah. I feel as though it kind of levels out. Cause it's like they tell different lies. Like uh, 
like how they were saying a woman will tell a woman, oh, like mm-hmm. they'll lie to them just so they can look yeah. better, you know. You know to they make both like lie to one another. But who who do you think lies more to women? The men. I can't really tell you who lies more. They tell different lies, is what I'm trying to say. If you like, had to choose, someone had a gun to your head, say pick one. Man, man, man yes, man. us versus yeah. So yeah, mm. men. men. Men lie to women more. Okay, yeah. fair enough. And what about you? I disagree. <laughs> I will. I'm telling you straight up. It's fucking women. Yeah. Women <laughs> are fucking okay. liars. Yeah. They're very yeah. fucking manipulative. Like, they just, it's always a competition. Mm-hmm. Women lie to women. Like, they mm-hmm. just. They think harder. Yeah. They just. Ugh. They overthink everything, so they got I, I know more men that will sit there in front of us women and keep it a buck, mm-hmm. keep it a hundred. And I know women that will sit here, hey, girl, you look cute. Oh, yeah, girl, you my friend. Then, boom, next minute. Yep. Right, once you dip out, oh, that bitch, is she a whore. Da, da, da. <laughs> That's how bitches it. Mm-hmm. I really agree. Women. Women. I mean, all okay. women. You can hear girls ask to have guy friends where they're like, oh, I only like hanging with guy friends because it's less drama. I agree. Y'all talking about that because women is weird and women do weird exactly. stuff to other women. So exactly. How you, weird. Go, you can't say you like guys more, but you don't. Like, if you trust them more, you want to be around them type shit. Okay. So we got um, You said women You said women You s- Both you said what you said? She said women I said men Okay so said men. We got two men And we got three women I got one last argument Sure go ahead Just for the For the guys Argument I mean Like Chances are You're never gonna know Like If they're Being honest or not If they're Trying to get something out of you If they're like Trying to pull True. one over on you Or Very manipulative In that mm-hmm. sense Okay I can say this, a man, you do know because his actions, exactly. you can a female, you can never know. She will sit there and smile and act. Like, a man action will know. always tell. A female, like, you cannot know, tell. Like, really don't want to fuck. They mm. just think they being let on. It's like, action. Nah, yeah, that's why there is a saying. Why you think the saying is, I'm a man of my word and not a woman of my word? Because men are just usually more truthful. Um, and men, they uh, women lie for absolutely they're no reason. They're held to their word. Like no one respects a lying nigga. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Men are gonna respect them. Women are gonna respect them. So mm-hmm. we're held to our word. Like we we are held to a higher standard on what we say, and our steps have to follow what we say. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. Like even with rap music and all that, niggas claiming they gangster and stuff like that, but then they be snitching. Mm-hmm. Like that. Why? Do, why you think that? Like the whole mm-hmm. snitch culture, six nine, and, and people making a big deal of men snitching because it's like, yo, you going against the cold? You telling right. now? You get what I'm saying? Because men are held to sure. their word. Their higher standard. So um. He's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, what I'll say is, um, I'll speak about it both, right? Really, men only lie to women when they want to get sex. That's the whole thing. So all the 11 dudes in your friend zone, all those dudes in your friend zone, um, you know, they're lying, sitting there, comfortable in a friend zone. None of my friends never lied. I just, it's not happening. I feel you. It's not (laughs) happening. But in their mind, they're waiting for some area where it's vulnerability so they can sneak in the back door or the side door to try to clap them cheeks immediately. (laughs) Um, that's just how it happens. So Guys put men normally <laughs> lie to women uh, because they want to have sex. But women definitely lie to women more. Yes. And not only that, the entire society lies to women. Mm. So first I'll start with why women lie to other women, right? Women lie to other women. I agree with, you know, what y'all said for pretty much all the things y'all said. But um, as far as the reasons, like, think about it, right? Body shaming. Why did body body shaming is a term? Don't body shame me. Body positivity. Body positivity is a lie. And it's something a lie that women or the feminist movement, um, which is, you know, ran by weak men and women to sell a lie. And they sell that lie because it's easier for a woman to buy. Right. If you tell a woman. Well, hey, love your curves, girl. You know, don't Mm. no fat shaming. No, any of that is a higher probability that they could sell. They could sell more merchandise. They could sell waist trainers now. They could sell uh, the. Why do you think when it comes to men clothes, we barely have a we only a certain amount of stores, a small certain amount of stores have big and tall when it comes to men. But all women clothes, they got them plus sizes. 
You can go anywhere. You can find you a plus size something to wear for a woman. Women make the most purchases in America, right? So since they make the most purchases, advertisers know, well, we're not going to tell them truth. <laughs> we're going to tell them a lie because women buy. So that's what the whole body shaming, well, the body positivity thing. And they trying to, you know, promote that body shame and like, oh, don't body shame. Also, think about it. Makeup is a lie. We don't know what you ladies really look like when you wear makeup. I think I don't really think y'all really got on no makeup. No. So no. y'all pretty good. But generally speaking, I'm not talking about y'all. Generally speaking, right? Women wear makeup. That's a lie itself. It's always like some type of uh, devious action w w when it comes to women. It's never like nothing is direct. All we, everything is like indirect. You wear makeup, which is a lie. We don't know what your true face is. Um, when you want to chill, with, you have multiple guys in a friend zone. The hair is fake. We don't know if that's real or not. You got extensions. You got wigs. And I'm not saying that any of this is bad. This is just proving a point. So don't get emotional, ladies. Um, hold up. <laughs> You had a no, you had something to say. Um, so those are the reasons, not even the reasons, but those are the, the pretty much the facts <laughs> why uh, women lie to other women, um, and then and also included with everything you said. I, I'm not even going to repeat it because I said good stuff, and then along with you know the extra things that I put in there. Go ahead, you said has some. I don't know. I feel like women. The reason women lie is to make themselves look good whether it's one way or another, whether it's a tiny ass white lie, just to say like, or if even if you're lying to another woman to make her feel good, which goes back to the whole body positivity thing, you might just want her to feel good and you feel me, not hurt her feelings, but that don't mean you being truthful with her. That mm -hmm. means you lying to make her emotions okay. feel good. You lying to, to a guy to make yourself look better. You lying to do this because you don't want to get caught up in your thing. Most of the time, guys will take a L before they like, do a stupid lie that don't really mean nothing but girls it come off like this and that's another reason why they lie so much is because it's anything just to make themselves look a little better like i'm doing this i feel like this blah blah, blah. Yeah. even even the way you feel girls will lie about literally everything yeah, it's all yeah. it's, it's really is it's based off feelings you know since we want to protect women's feelings you know that's why men yeah. and women lie to lie oh, to bullshit. women but mostly women lie to other women and people that and also it's easier like Women is facts on this, psychology facts on this. Women are just um, more agreeable creatures. You're, you're gonna, ag you agree with most things, right? You're group thinkers. Men, we are more non-agreeable. We'll, it's hard to sell something to a man. We gonna be like, what? Nah, bruh. Women is like, oh, oh, Katie has it over there. The neighbor with dad did this. That's to a the roof. Yeah, yeah, do my roof then too. That goes into a whole different topic. I was about to say, I don't, I don't agree really with agree that. With yeah, that. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. I don't. But you don't agree with what? what I see. Just said. Explain just why. I don't agree with that because I'm not easy to agree on anything. I mean, mm. she knows mm. me personally. That's my sister. Like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, not... yeah. You're, you're thinking subjectively, objectively. Yeah. Niggas be not dick speaking about yourself. Yeah. Yeah, not speaking about yourself, oh. but generally. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, I, I, it's the facts there. All the ads you see when you're on social media, Facebook, Instagram, most of those ads are aimed towards women because women, think about it. When I'm in a relationship and when y'all in a relationship with men, his money is your money and your money is your money. Mm. With a man that Not true. with a man that is a uh, traditional man that's protecting Wait, that's what want, for though. you. That's what y'all want. You get what I'm saying? And that's, that's, that's what y'all want anyway. That's what we want from a man. Yeah, so that's absolutely. what you want from if a man. If you're expecting it, we exactly, might as well say right? that's what it is. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's speaking. If you're expecting it, <laughs> she's speaking. If you're expecting it, you might as well accept that's what it is. So, since you expect the man to be leading and to be paying for stuff anyway, usually the the woman is using either her money or the man's money. So that's why all the advertisers aim towards everything for women. So they lie with a multitude of things. Climate change is a lie. Um, a multitude of other things is all a lie. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's being psyoped. But um, any any other thing on that before we get to the next topic? I feel like women lie to other women to be spiteful, and men lie to women to help their feelings to get in their pants. Yeah, to get in pants. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Women, like, yeah, men with not women lying, lying to, impress to other women. It's more of like to. a spiteful, like petty type. You got some, sir? 
Men be lying about everything. I mean, I don't know why we're so anti women here. Like, no, we're not. Just, no, no, no. We're just saying just that like, women, men, men do lie, yourself. but guess what? Just, all the lies. Okay. Look, look, hold on. But, I got you, Sarah. No, no. The, all no. the lies that they have, all the lies that men tell you is what we're saying is, is for one reason. Because they want to smash, exactly. is what we're saying. They're but not going to impress you unless they're talking about anything. I'm talking about saying they went to the grocery store and they're not. Because they want to keep smashing. They probably weed with another chick, smashing something else. Exactly. So you think I told them they're lying? No. Are you joking? Yeah, but Sarah, this is what I'm saying. Men mm -hmm. will lie to a woman usually for one reason, and that's around sex. Right. Women lie to other women for a multitude of things, like everything, for a everything. contundrum of other things. Absolutely. So Can there's I? more lies on different topics, too. Go ahead. Oh, men, I know this is off topic, yeah. but men also lie to men a lot. I see it. You ask me, what do I mean by that? <laughs> they like to, huh? Men are like... <laughs> You got you can have like a friend group, but it's like I don't know. Y'all are all afraid to tell each other how you really feel. Like that ain't true. I don't know. You they can say sometimes. Some yes like say you sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's well, always a yes men in the group. Well, 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 There's different yes levels of men. Men men are different. Women have one level. Mm -hmm. At one level, because women are born with their value, you don't have to create any value because mm -hmm. the opposite sex val values your sexuality and your femininity and your submissiveness. Mm -hmm. That's what we value in you. Meaning that. We don't care about your money or your successes in in, in this world, right? You gotta do but men it. are different. We're born it's levels of men. You got the low value men. You got guy B. You got guy uh, C, B, and guy A. Guy um, B and C. I mean, those dudes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they're inadequate in certain ways, and you know maybe they'll be lying to one another because they're trying to one up and they don't have any integrity and they don't have any ambitions and they're not making anything of themselves. But most men that have. Uh, uh, a mindset and want to create something in life and, and make something out of themselves they keep a tight knit circle and they only keep niggas around them that's going to push them in the right direction that's not going to say oh yeah this dope you feel what i'm saying even when it's not dope oh yeah rock mm -hmm. them shoes bruh Hot. even when they not the right shoes to be rocking you mm -hmm. feel what i'm saying yeah. so i get that i get what you're saying that does happen but it's with it because it's with different tiers of men so you mm -hmm. see it, but you just see it with the low value men usually when it's happening. No, High value sure. men, we get rid of them people. We may see them, they may come around us, but I'm like, ah, yeah, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> I feel as though there's different varieties of men and women. Nah, all women aren't the same. Beyonce Correct. and y'all, we all going, we all looking at it for beauty. Who gives a freak? Beyonce ain't gonna marry no broke niggas. But so. exactly, but we're not all the same. We're not the same. No, no, as no. Beyonce. I, 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 <laughs> no, no. That's not what I'm saying. If you was a 10 and Beyonce, whatever she is, right? Let's just say if you was bad. When I, I'm, are you going to say that I'm not going to be valued the same? No, I'm going to say, let's just go with you, right? <laughs> go with you. But let's say that in men's eyes, you're a 10. Let's say you're a 10 in, on all men's eyes, right? Um, Beyonce is a billionaire. So you would have more sexual value than Beyonce. Because beyond, women don't date down. Beyonce, that's why she kept Jay-Z while he was cheating. Because it's very hard for her to replace a Jay-Z. She's not dating down. It's going to be very hard for her to find another Jay. Because she's a billionaire. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Generally speaking. Now we do know some celebrities do date down like Kim K with other these <laughs> niggas. But her value already decreased. She was doing a whole lot of promiscuous activities. So she can't <laughs> even get a man of true value to commit to her. That's why she got Kanye that has mental disabilities. Low value in multiple other areas. It doesn't matter. He's low value in other areas. So this is the thing too, ladies. Like you can have a guy. That he could have money. And you be you may be thinking like, oh, he's a high value guy. He's a guy of substance. But if he has a mental illness and he's abusing himself for you, he's not a high value guy. You get what I'm saying? So there's different tiers of guys to go to. So back to what I was saying about you, right? Yeah. So if you was a 10 in men's eyes and we compared you to Beyonce, you would have more sexual value than Beyonce because you be a, a, a queen would never look a peasant's way. But a king would truly marry a peasant, right? So that means that you're a 10, you have so many options of all these kings. But Beyonce, she's a queen, she has all these peasants around, she's a billionaire. Guess what, what, 0.1% of people are a billionaire? 
you got so think about it she's not finning the date down so whole, she has no options make sense mm -hmm. that's what My i'm point saying go ahead is <laughs> men are valued more by what they got and i'm talking about from a woman's standpoint men are valued more by what they got what they could give you and women are valued by guys way more by looks like it's just cut and dry so that's right. why it goes mm -hmm. like that women if you look better, you're higher up on the stature. And if men, if you have more money, you're higher up on the stature. You Absolutely feel me? Agree with so you. that's that's the opposite. That's both and both. One yeah. and one. Yeah, it just right. evens out. You, go ahead. No, I, didn't, I thought so. I was actually awesome. gonna circle back, but you might hate me for <laughs> no, the, go ahead, circle back. for the whole morals thing. <laughs> yeah. I know you think it's like outrageous, but like <laughs> for example, Beyonce, <laughs> like whether or no. not like she she has a lot of money and she's beautiful. Uh huh. But would she date someone without morals? Would she go for a guy that doesn't have their head on straight despite having money or not? She went with Jay-Z that sold crack to kids. What are you talking about? But that's, but this what are you is talking about? I'm saying, I'm saying the next the next up, like the next guy that she she would go for, like they'd have to have something more than Jay-Z. So I mean it can't get worse than that. So it's gotta go up. Talking about financial. No, 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 no. You you don't Finance? you don't you don't get what no. I'm saying. Back to the moral. Yeah, yeah, he, it, he's cheating on her. So he brought her down. I mean, yeah, yeah, but she her. Her. Oh, no, 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 not. What, what is she? Even I, though he cheated, like he said, that's a billion. He got money that Women she's not gonna go nowhere. What else is she gonna get from who? Who, mm -hmm. who is up on that level? There's nobody. But do you think level. like she's satisfied with like what he's doing? Yes, yes. she's yes. satisfied. All right. You would be satisfied with a dude that has you in a big old mansion, giving you everything you want. I don't want. think I would. And, I think I'd rather be in a shack with someone that makes me happy. Please. And bro, well, she, you, you I'm so serious. Yeah. Well, how old <laughs> are you? Honest. Oh. 21? I'm, I'm, I'm just you 21. My morals aren't going to change in the future. Listen, do your so, thing. Just bring know. me back so, to you. So, so, back so back listen, ladies. Let's Roxy's speak about morals, right? I taking care of me. We can have this conversation about morals, Sarah. So... Let's have this conversation about morals, right? So you're holding morals to a man's uh, sexual fidelity, right? Uh -huh. So you're saying that the, 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 the most highest moral man is the man that could have sexual temperance. That's what you're saying, right? Nah. Well, well that's pretty much what you're saying. Self-control, maybe. Like, if you... If you or that's what freaky, sexual, sexual temperance is. Your, so yeah, so let, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, I'm getting somewhere. So let's go, go let's go there, right? So because I, I, I need you to understand, because <laughs> I don't think you truly understand what morals is, right? So I who has who's who has more morals? All of this is in the Bible. Who has more morals? Guy A, he's in a relationship with the woman, and Guy B, he's in a relationship with the woman. Guy Guy A, he has no sexual options. But he masturbates and watches porn when his girls goes when his girl goes to sleep or goes to work or whenever she's not around. Maybe about three times a day, and he watches big booty porn and all this other type of stuff. And he whacks off, right? Okay, yeah. let's say that. That's guy A. Guy B, he's high value, right? And he has a whole lot of sexual options. He's not beating his meat behind his wife's back and stuff like that. And the only time he may hook up with a John is like once a year. Who has more morals? B. Guy B. You prove so this is what I'm saying. You don't even understand what morals is. The reason why Guy B has more morals is because he has more options, but he has more sexual temperance to not be going out there. But guess what? If guy A, if he had as many options as Guy B, he'll be smashing a hundred girls a day if he could. Because he has no sexual temperance. You get what I'm saying? So there's moral standards when it comes to men. But you're looking at the morality within men much different. That's how it is. So, I disagree. I'm not going to get into it with I you. I mean, but what that's do just you not. disagree about that? <laughs> it's just, it's <laughs> not. Like, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or okay. make you feel so, less no, masculine. No, no, no. Less what? Yeah. No, Sarah, listen. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm so serious. Sarah, have you ever read the first... Uh, I don't even want to start with you. Do not talk Bible to me because you're going to get put down. No, you're have, go have down. you ever read I the swear first? right now. I might look like I don't know what I'm talking no, about. Totally you fine. are wrong. Have you ever read? What's up? Do you know the story of Adam and okay. Eve? No, no, no. want to no, get no. into that? No. I'm asking you a question. Just one mic at a time, right? Have you ever read the first? Have you ever read Genesis? 
Yeah. The Bible. Okay. Have you read Psalms? So, Do you even so, know what that is? Okay. So let's just <laughs> go with Genesis, right? I read the whole Bible, but let's just go okay. with Genesis, right? So in Genesis, after, you know, God made Adam and Eve and Adam and Eve, they had Cain and Abel, right? So the reason why Cain killed Abel because he was jealous of Abel is because God accepted uh, Abel's sacrifices better than he accepted Cain's. Who was more morally righteous, Cain or Abel? Abel was more. Abel was more morally righteous. The reason why God accepted Abel's sacrifices more is because Abel's sacrifices was unselfish. You get what I'm saying? Abel's sacrifice is like the guy A and the guy B. You get what I'm saying? So God knew that Abel's sacrifices was from the heart. So think about it if it's something that I truly cherish and something that I truly want. Right. Something I truly want, but I still sacrifice it anyway. Like, OK, I'm not going to do it. Let me have some self-discipline. I want this. I desire it, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sacrifice it. In God's eyes, that's going to be morally righteous. You get what I'm saying? Now, yeah, this is all going to correlate for you. A, a Cain's sacrifices wasn't morally righteous. He was just like, well, I'm going to hold this to myself, but I'm going to sacrifice this. I don't really care about that much, that too much. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about. So. I, you just proving my point. So this is what I'm saying. Guy B is Abel. Guy A is Cain. Guy B, the guy that has the sexual temperance and he's not, I'm not saying that it's good. He shouldn't be having sex with anyone, right? None of, none of them should if they're in a relationship, right? But if we're going to judge a person, we have to judge the person by their actions, their character. You get what I'm saying? So, so if we're judging them by their character, right? Guy, guy B, he had the ability to be having sex with 10 girls a day, but he didn't. He did one a year. Guy, uh, guy A, he couldn't have sex with anyone, but if he had the opportunity, he would have had sex with 10 girls every day. So that's what I'm saying. So guy B is one too many. Doesn't matter if it's once a year, if it's twice a year, it's one too many. If you're in a committed relationship, guy A, that's not the argument. Guy A, don't you think the female would be more accepting of having an addiction to porn as opposed to going out and fucking another bitch and not knowing? No, STDs actually, no. Involved, actually, I'll tell you anything. this. Guy, guy, guy A, the girl that he has, that girl don't even respect him. She pissed off about having she pissed off about having that guy that doesn't even have the ability to attract other women. She he he probably attracted her by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> she would break up with that nigga in a second. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm saying. Is like you're. That whole point is who got more self control when given options. Yes, some other, you get it? somebody don't have no options. They just don't got no options. If somebody got a bunch of options and they stopping and they not doing nothing with those options, that's how that's you stronger. measure. And this is what we're talking about morals, right? Thank you, Elena. And that's how you measure, Sarah, that's how you measure morality, right? If I don't have the person that doesn't have the capability or the even the, the end with all to kill someone, well, they have no moral grounds. They, wouldn't, they can't even hurt a fly, right? Okay, where's your where's your morality in that? But the person that has the capability and the and the wherewithal to kill someone and kill a fly and kill a fly and kill animals and everything else, but they have the discipline not to, that's morality. You only have morality when you have the capability to do bad things, but you choose not to. That's morality. You don't have any morals if you don't even have the capacity to do anything bad. No Absolutely. bullshit. Absolutely. I'm button that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not button that. I'm not that. button that. That's Nigga true. out here preaching, bruh. Told you yeah, not for nothing, but yeah. nothing's nothing's worse than having a man Sticker? that At gets large, left on oh, red oh, in somebody pressure. else's <laughs> inbox. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be messed up. It's like, a large. Like imagine, just imagine going through your man's phone and you see him that he's hitting up other females and not one of them responds. Facts. Yeah, yeah that's, that's embarrassing. That's, that's, embarrassing. that's, embarrassing. that's so embarrassing. embarrassing at this point. Like we're not even together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Sarah, I, I respect your uh, perspective, but you're young. You know what I mean? And I hope after this podcast, when you watch it back and so you're going to be like, ah, I get what he's saying. But I'm not. It, it, the things that you're saying isn't like 
you, it's know, not you know, wrong. isn't like no, it is wrong, but it isn't like it's, <laughs> it's like not. like bad. That's not. Can I say what I mean? I ain't about wrong that. about I mean, say what I mean by that. You just have different perspectives. Let me say what I mean. And I'm not disrespecting you, so there's no reason to disrespect me. No, no, I didn't disrespect disrespect you. No, I'm saying that now. No, no, I'm not disrespecting you. I say something. This is what I mean. I'm not saying that you're. What I say when I say you're not wrong. You're young. I been yeah, that's what I'm I saying. Used to like you good. like that too. You're good. It took me as I grew and went through shit to really understand. I'm 34. You ain't gonna notice anyway. But anyways, uh, I did want to mm. touch on one thing, and then I'll leave it to the ladies to ask any questions, and we gonna wrap it up because we've been rocking for a little minute now. It's 11:10. <laughs> okay. um, I had one oh, thing damn. to touch on, and it was I've written it down. One, it's about Sarah again. So Sarah, remember <laughs> we were speaking about. Um, <laughs> 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 you circle back now. Let me circle back because we was touching on some good stuff. Cain and Abel. <laughs> Not Cain and Abel. I'm off that. But remember when we were speaking on a woman um, having sex with a hundred guys and versus a man having sex with a hundred guys, and you were saying that oh it's a double standard and all of this stuff too, right? So of course the other things that I said those are still factors. But the other thing is that it's biology, like. Why would a woman even want to allow multiple men in her vagina anyway? Like someone goes inside you, mm -hmm. right? And someone is dominating you. And sex is the most ultimate form of submission, right? So that means that every guy that you have sex with, you have to like them to some degree. And most females don't even have sex with guys that they do like. So females are very picky because you have standards and you should have standards because you actually allow another human being inside you, right? So it's a good thing, right? But on a reverse in men, it's a dominating act for us. And we're the ones that's going inside and dominating someone. We don't have to like a girl at all, right? Like you have to like a guy to a certain degree. I could actually hate a girl, but clap her cheeks. So... <laughs> You see where I'm saying? So for a man, the act, the sexual act for a man, uh, it's just not, it doesn't hold as much mental weight that it does, that it holds on a female, right? A female that's promiscuous, she's going to be, experience anxiety and depression and a whole bunch of other disorders, usually. A man that's promiscuous, that nigga be alright. Actually, when we bust a nut, it's a relief. We feel even better. Post post nut clarity. We feel like we can <laughs> conquer the world after a nut. Women have more oxytocin than men. That's a pair bonding chemical that allows you to pair bond with your baby. That's why you have it. But it also allows you to pair bond with the men that you have sex with. Mm. So the more men you experience, the less mm. you're able to pair bond with someone else. The more men. Sure, go ahead. So we've been talking a lot about like straight relationships and we haven't talked about how there's like another side to this whole story and shenanigan. You sleep and there's with women? like I swing both ways. Okay. <laughs> um, I do. I find it kind <laughs> of fun and eventful. I don't think it counts. If it's not if you're not having sex with a girl, then No, you're not I was actually both getting ways. at the fact that like other relationships other than straight, they have a lot of different morals than straight Relationships well, well, I would just say they're um, all of fluent. it is immoral if no. we're speaking about it. It's no. all immoral. I would say more fluent and definitely you have to be confident to be in certain relationships. Wait, if you if you read the Bible, all any sexual deviance outside of men and women is immoral. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you talking about? There's a lot of religions, and there's a lot of different genders, and there's a lot of different sexuality. We've just how so many happened, genders are there? You want to get into it? No, because I, I do have friends that there. identify as not men. That's and what women. they identify as. Well, how many? Exactly. How many genders are there? There's there's a lot of genders. How many though? To educate yourself, you can go online. I'm, I don't I'm, need to say it for you. I'm, I don't I'm, need to I'm, educate I'm, you. I'm un, and I'm uneducated, but I'm very intelligent. So you tell me, how many genders mm -hmm. are there? What are we talking? Are you going off the Bible again? No, no, just how are many you, genders are, do you are think Are we talking are? like 2023 and like I'm just speaking. There's a lot what of are different the things going on in the world. Time, time and all of this stuff. We don't got it. What's the <clears throat> facts? Traditional people would say two, but more accepting people in today's age would say there's more than two. And if they're educated enough, no, they would I want to know how many. What's the number? I think I, 
right now we're up to like 12 maybe 12 genders mm. 12 different genders yeah okay and a lot of people so, identify differently so if there are 12 genders why do you have a gender reveal party okay if there are, I mean, if there that, are doesn't, that genders, doesn't mean your kid's gonna stay the same gender and identity forever don't no, get no, that no, wrong no you see where i'm going if there are 12 genders why do people have a gender reveal party for their child okay. that is newborn okay, that so, hasn't come out of the womb yet okay so uh they have a gender reveal party and how many genders do they have to choose from <laughs> when they have a gender reveal party Traditionally speaking, has there been any fluent no, gay you're not answering the question. gender reveal? How many genders do they get to choose from when they have a gender reveal party? Two. Exactly. Point proven. So therefore, you're being psyoped by society. Don't let them influence you, Sarah. You're a smart girl. Not but being this world you all gotta th get educated. Yeah, th and this I'm not, really frustrated. No, that's indoctrination. No. That's not education. That's not education. So this it world that we live in, right? You see something with your eyes, but they want you to lie to yourself. This is what I'm saying. They literally want you to lie to yourself. What you can see and witness with your own eyes, they want you to say, no, that's a lie. That isn't right. You get what I'm saying? So you know truthfully that there are two genders because it, it can only be two genders in a gender reveal party. And it's a male or a female, a boy or a girl. It's blue or pink in all gender reveal parties. And the crazy thing is, even at these LGBTQ stuff, when they're doing things, they still only have two colors. They don't got all these rainbow colors at a gender reveal party like oh it's gonna be pink and that's gonna be an elephant no it's a boy or a girl pink or blue so those are the facts when you get into all of this other stuff you're being psyop your brain is being confused to believe in things that are just not true it's almost so, like a religion it's like another yeah, it's type a, of religion it's, it's a cult yeah. it's something that you believe um, in that shouldn't it should another nobody else should be disrespectful yeah. towards you it's something that right. you believe in it's a religion but you shouldn't be forcing your beliefs on others and you shouldn't you feel me exactly. it shouldn't be Something that you but go again, around and talk like about. Bro, it's, it's not you. No, y'all gotta confuse. No, it's oh, not it's even. Two. It's not even a belief because they don't believe it. She just said it herself. Yeah, there's two. But then she's gonna go and say, "Well, when the kid can choose something else, but well, the kid can't choose nothing else because the kid was already chosen. What it was be to born a boy or a girl. That's it." I feel like there's a difference between gender and gender identity. There's only two genders, but there's multiple different gender identities. Okay, well, I, I <laughs> identify as Lord Savior. If that's what you feel like you want to be today, just know that if you feel like you identify as a couch tomorrow, you can call off work and school, and it will be backed up by the state. N not yeah, in New Jersey. You cannot get fired. In Pennsylvania. Okay, well, we're in PA right now. <laughs> I think a lot <laughs> that, of that people will be it's doing that. It's mental health. It's, it all has to do with yeah. mental health. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't need to be working I'm if you identify as a couch. I'm a girl, I got a vagina. I'm talking about, I'm just piggybacking <laughs> off of her I don't because think I feel like she feels like a little attacked. There nah, is like, you know what I'm Conversation. saying? Conversation. No, it is, but you're I'm gonna, saying I feel like she feels that way. So I'm I'm here to like you try can be help her a little bit. You're biologically born a woman and you can look like a man. You can have different genes, genetics, different upbringing, different Wait, things. What? Like people you know, there with roller coasters. seriously are. I've <laughs> taken genetics course. Have you? Did uh, you study genetics in college? Listen, I have the highest degree in all the lands of the Lord because I am Lord and Savior. That's what I identify <laughs> as. So I have all the degrees. So if you got to play into the nonsense, I can play into the nonsense. But this is what I'm saying, right? Sarah and uh, Lexi. Um, that's why I wrote you. Yeah, actually... Kev, I'm doing a good job. I wrote the names down. Because, yo, I ain't going to hold you. Usually, I forget all the... Names. I'm the worst with names. I'm the worst with names. But, um, Sarah and Lexi. And, uh, don't feel attacked. No one. This is no fugazi. We having fun at the end of this. We can have some drinks and eat the rest of those chicken wings and we'll be fine. Just like we did before in the beginning. Right? Oh, y'all niggas ate them. God dang. <laughs> but anyways, right? So at the end of the day, right? You said that, you know, um a person can be born uh, you know, uh a girl but looking like a boy? That's what you said? No, I said biologically, what matches and what looks like doesn't add up all the time. So, so to what they have people, in their mind? 
That's what you no, mean? No, I mean, like, like we're, we can get into, like, a lot of different things. You mean, things. like, a hermaphrodite? No, I'm talking about, like, like <laughs> Olympics, like, like, national teams fighting transgenders and fighting different people that are born biologically a female, but they, they present themselves differently. So oh, they have to be accepted into different realms. Oh, exception. To... Exception is all based off of feelings. Remember I mm -hmm. said that that's why uh, society lies to women because you're easily to manipulate. You're easy to be sold to. Look what you were just sold to. You were you were sold to to uh, put a blindfold over your eyes and say, hey, I'm an elephant. Guess what? <laughs> you are an elephant. Where's your tusk? So this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, it's all a lie, baby girl. There's only two genders, male and female. There's no difference between uh, gender and um, the identity because that's just what you think in your head, right? We are beings of free will. We are beings okay. of free will. Oh, are we losing one? We losing one oh, we lost one. Oh. <laughs> hey, we lost one for a little bit. Uh, maybe she got a shed of terror to it. This is a touchy conversation. But hey, this podcast is called... No fugazi, you know, we get inactive, right? We get inactive. We have those bullshit. tough conversations that other podcasts don't have. We're gonna touch on all of them. Um, I don't know. I I still this snake. Don't touch on them. I still feel like I don't have a problem personally with anything yeah. transgender, all that. But in all reality, he's right. There's only two. I agree. I feel yeah, like it's like you said. You could be. It could be a religion. Like you could believe what you want to believe, but you don't gotta. You feel me? I don't think that you she's also like, you also can't shit on other but anybody else for feeling like that. No, it's not shitting. It's just yeah, reality. It's, a, it's just reality. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not saying can't that. Hate on them, yeah, make you them feel worse. worse. You don't want to make them feel worse. You know what? what they I I feel for these people that truly believe that that truly was psyoped and and uh, brainwashed to believe that you know there are multiple genders and a man can mm -hmm. be a female or the twelfth gender that she talked about. Who knows? <laughs> Um, I feel for that because it's like, wait, I never heard how, that. how your mom, your father didn't protect you from this. What happened? What happened in this world that you, you had no guidance, no one there of any intelligence or any masculine guidance or any family unit to protect your mental mind frame mm -hmm. to believe in in this hogwash. I feel you feel like, me? I, I feel I like something? it all boils down to mental health issues. Like if Well, that's what getting on a on a person like, yeah, it's a total absolutely. mental health. It's, yeah. it's like if you wake up, how do you wake up today and, and you think that you're a boy but you were born a girl and then tomorrow you wake up and you think that you're a cup of orange juice. Like that it doesn't make sense. It all boils <laughs> right. down to mental health. Yeah, like, but look, right. look, see it's how like you girl, speaking right now? It's the girl that, that is black. That that swears to God she's white. Y'all yeah, ever yeah, seen I that? Seen that. So, but this is what I'm saying. You see how you're speaking now? This is what I'm saying. Too women bad. lie to other women. You were trying to coddle her when she was here. I wasn't coddling her. I said out my own mouth, I feel like she feels attacked, so I'm trying to, you feel me? I understand where she's coming from. Oh, yeah. But at she the end attacked. of the day, I was though, attacking her argument, not her. Right, but I said she felt attacked. I didn't yeah, but say guess you what? were Feelings attacking. Feelings aren't real. If you feel something that isn't real actually being real, life. if I'm attacking her argument, but I'm not attacking her, but she feels attacked, her feelings is wrong. This is the thing I'm saying about. This is, the, this is what we're talking about. Niggas is crazy right now. <laughs> Niggas just feeling anything and believing anything. Yo, no, your feelings can be wrong. Your opinions can be wrong. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm telling you out my own mouth, I said for the sake of her and her argument, I said what I said. Nah, I but that don't mean that I feel that way. I you didn't ask me how I felt. I, I already I know how you feel now. You <laughs> express your feelings. Can I say something? Yeah. I don't think that she's saying that she would like vouch for them or that she like she's encouraging it but I think that she's just saying that she sees it she kind of respects it like it's not that she wants to like oh I don't know yeah, yeah. Like, well, this, I feel well, this, she just, this goes like, into the whole conundrum of the conversation that we were there. having right think about it ladies let's think logically here yeah we were speaking about a multitude wait. of things L listen we were speaking about how talking. men and women lie and who lies the woman more and think and how this kind I didn't bring this up. And women lie to she women. brought it up. She believed that is because Absolutely. it's easier to lie to women. This is the whole thing that we're speaking about. This all, this this crazy, right? right? I didn't have any of these He's questions right. planned, but it all came together to prove my point. And also I feel like if people get their like their thoughts like not shit on, but if they get if they get proven wrong and they agree with that 
that proven wrong, that's when they start getting more defensive because it's yeah, almost yeah. like and that, that's a I know I'm trait. wrong, but I don't know how else to Which like okay. say it. Because right. she's a woman, so I'm not. Um, you Make know, it that way too, of, but we ain't gonna go down here. I feel like but, I feel men, like but <laughs> men are feminine, aren't attractive, and aren't respected. But she will still be respected because she's a feminine woman, and it's Emotions okay. Are good Look, to show, yeah, you as get a what woman. I'm saying? Like she yeah, could be absolutely. like that. Sure. She's 23 years old. She'll be fine. If I was delusional like that, I wouldn't have this podcast. I wouldn't even have had the competence <laughs> to make the money to invest in this podcast. Wouldn't have been here. <laughs> I would have been holding up a rainbow flag or something, spilling some stuff out my mouth that didn't make any sense. And maybe had a little suck a little on the side to me to get anything. Oh, wow. Which is weird. Pause. I mean, but at least Pause. she stood by what she said. Pause. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's move it right along. Yeah. We're going to do last thoughts on the podcast. We've been kicking it for a minute, and we've been going for like two hours. So uh, we lost right. one, ladies and gents. We lost one. <laughs> Again, uh, this is probably going to go viral. But, um, hey, this is what we do here at No Fugazi. So um, last thoughts on the podcast. And any last questions you have, this is your ladies' time to speak what's on your mind. You don't got to agree with nothing I say at all, right? Just like she. She ain't agree with nothing I say. <laughs> I didn't kick her off. She left herself. So this tells you that it's really no fugazi. But um, starting with you. Why are you always asking? All right, let's like, go I with Elena. Know. Elena, last thoughts on... Well, if you have any questions, you could have a question for me or any other guests or just a random topic. Or if you don't have anything, give me your last thoughts on the podcast. All right. Well, I do low-key want to like touch on something and go back a little bit. But okay. it's about like how like women and men like take things a lot of women like and it, it might sound bad when i'm saying it just just hear me out like women is followers like a hundred percent women do things because of what other people is doing and it goes back to why they buy 80 percent of things this girl got it my friend got it i gotta get four now i gotta i gotta do better i gotta get something nicer i gotta do this it, it's always a competition it's almost always a competition with other females even if they're your friends which is the same thing you'll be friends with less look less pretty looking girls than you because you want to be the nicest one in the room and honestly this is all just straight facts that people don't want to say like girls do things because other girls do them they do things to post it on the media people are media bodies people do everything for social media just yeah. because that's what people is looking at but that's not a real ass person that's not a real person that's a media body that's somebody that's doing something because other people is. based off what they were influenced right by. Yeah. yeah facts that's true that's a lot that's, of money. that's Definitely facts there. Um, all right. Uh, any what's your what's your thoughts on the podcast? How you like it? Me? Yeah. I don't know. I sp I spoke my truth. I like the I like the podcast. You speaking facts? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold I like you. It. You like it? Would you come back? Yeah. Tell you. I'll have you back. <laughs> Words. Say no more. <laughs> um, last thoughts on the pod? Or do you have any questions? No, I don't really have any questions. Where where? And you was keeping it real too. Um, Lexi. Lexi. Uh, <laughs> that's right here too. But um, last thoughts on the podcast. No, nah, it was definitely lit. I like that you keep it very real. You stand on your opinion. You know, it doesn't matter whether somebody walks out on you or not. I feel I like that. Okay, word. Sarah, you back? back. You back. Sarah. We just doing the last thoughts, Sarah. Hey, let's clap for Sarah. Hey. Let's clap for Sarah. All right, Sarah. Thank you for coming back. Um, we just doing the last thoughts. So here is um, the part of the podcast where you could... Ask any questions you want or give any last statements you want. You, you, the floor is yours. Or if you don't have anything to say, you could just say your last thoughts on the podcast. Um, I'd like to kind of just represent other people that have different opinions on this podcast. And I believe what I believe in. And I know other people feel strongly as well, just about different topics. And I'd like to kind of recognize those people and just advocate on their behalf and if anyone feels different or feels that i'm wrong you're more than welcome to speak up and have a conversation later about it um i do feel strongly just about different topics that were discussed tonight and um yeah i'd like to kind of just advocate for others that also have a different opinion or train of thought going off different topics um gotcha do you think an opinion can be wrong I feel an opinion can be wrong. Okay. A viewpoint can also be wrong. Okay. And you can also be educated improperly. So there's a lot of different components do to you think, um, information. What do you think is more important? Not even important. Yeah, let's say important. I guess that's the word. 
education or intelligence? Depends where you get your intelligence from. If you were well educated, you will be intelligent. Okay. If you just claim that you're intelligent, you have no proof to support that. Okay, so let me cor uh, correct you. So intelligence and education is totally different. I could be ed I could be educated based off remembering something. How I pass a test, a test is all based off memory. They give me a formula, I remember the formula, and then I go ahead and solve the problem. But someone had to give me the formula, right? So the person that made the formula is an, is the intelligent person because they created a formula to then teach someone else. So then you could memorize that formula to pass. The test so those people are intelligent because they came up with the formula and then they educated someone else right so uh edu education and intelligence is 100 percent different so people are educated based off of what they are taught and that's based off of memory and guess what it's based off of indoctrination because anyone can get, make up a formula that's nonsense right and then spew that nonsense to someone else and they can remember that and then they can spew it down mm -hmm. an intelligent person is someone that has the ability to critically think and to think on their own you get what i'm saying so education tells you what to think college they tell you what to think right they don't teach you how to think mm -hmm. right so most human beings don't know how to think 98 percent of human beings on this planet have perception two percent of people have a perspective right that means that they have and the ability to have a perspective to critically think about what they perceived and what they were influenced by to break it down to actually have a genuine perspective on it that's different than what they actually was perceived right so 98 percent of people based off what they perceive that's how they think two percent of people Based off what they perceive, they critically think about it, and then they have a perception about it that's differently based off what they perceived. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, so intelligence is much different. So, uh, just some homework to do. Uh, anything you read or anything you study, what people are saying, even with me, what I'm saying, don't just be believing it. You shouldn't be believing in anything. Actually do some research and try to critically think about, well, why am i thinking this way who told me to think this way where did this information come from right because all information is all it's all influence based right so i'm influenced the audience right now and i'm influencing you right now right and all you ladies and the people in the back but freak what i'm saying go out there and figure it out for yourself and think and critically think and see if what i'm saying is actually factual don't just be believing in things you know the truth you know that there are two genders so this is the thing right we have feelings human beings are very simple we operate real real easily so we have and we we're human beings of free will we have free will that god granted us with that we have the ability to make decisions in our life and it this, the decision could be erratic right we could be a person can grow up in the hood right and he and he I'll use myself for an example. I grew up in the hood. Brother did 20 years in prison. Shot people. My friends was out there doing mad things, gang banging, selling drugs. Everyone was doing crazy things. I grew up in the projects. Life was pretty bad. It wasn't easy, right? I've never drank. I've never smoked. I don't do any of those, of those things. I don't cuss. So it's not because I'm, well, Lord Savior, as I said. <laughs> it's just because I have a perception about things. I was influenced to perceive things just how everyone else was perceiving it. But I chose a different route to critically think about my life and to make different decisions. That doesn't mean that I was perfect. I failed, got back up, oh. failed, got back up and, and kept, you know, kept working my way up. So environment doesn't dictate what i'm saying is right <laughs> environment dictates 
98% of people. They say, oh, well, I'm a product of my environment. You, you think the way you think because the environment. 2023, with all this pride stuff, that's why you're thinking this way. What I'm telling you is you can get out of that environmental thought that you have. You right. don't have to be like that dude that's like, oh, well, I had to sell crack because, you know, they were selling crack when I was in the hood. You don't have to be like that person. You don't have to be like, well, I believe in a rainbow flag because that's what they're telling me to believe in. You could have, you, you got free will. You can have your own free thought. Is this making sense? Yeah, I was going to say it's just like how people say, oh, my mother or father did this. Now I do it. Yeah. Like, let me mm -hmm. tell you. I feel as though you have your own. Sure. You're your own person. Do what the fuck you want to do. Why yeah. are you going to do it? Because you see your mother do it. Like. Uh, but thank you, Sarah, for sharing your last thoughts, um, for sharing that. Um, before I get to you real quick, uh, it's because then we going around, but then I get to you. Uh, how'd you like the podcast? Who are you talking to? You. It was okay. She just told me how she liked the podcast. You okay? It was okay. Would you come back? Maybe in like a couple years, and then prove you wrong. And like okay. Have a nice right. man to bring in with me. And man. Like, oh, well, yeah. this, this is or, or a woman, you know, or, like you know. I could be wifed up too. Or you could bring a man or a woman. Hey, yeah. This, Who knows? This, you have free will. Like Maybe I said, I'll surprise you. you. Maybe I'll educate you then too. Mm. <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on to you oh uh, you had something Real to say quick, right basically to sum it up what you were saying the whole thing about education and intelligence education is what you're told what you're taught intelligence is what you take from that and how you actually put it into your own thoughts your own mind mm -hmm. and you listen to intelligence is what you could do with what you're educated on and it's not just like straight up like oh i heard this this is what it is Edu intelligence is thinking for yourself off of what you're already educated on you got to have your own opinions basically your own thoughts and every, that's why everybody's opinion and opinions aren't could be wrong because it's your exactly. opinion yeah. but somebody also can't tell you that your opinion is wrong because it's that's the point of calling uh, it opinion. an opinion yeah. and she, she agrees yeah. with this the thing is you, you're like fighting with yourself with it like <laughs> it's like ah yeah i agree with this part but but my feelings is here so i i don't want to agree with that because since my feelings is here i have to protect other people's feelings you gotta but you got to think about it Feelings. People gonna. People feel uh -huh. like they want to have sex with kids. People feel like they want to kill other people. You can't be concerned with feelings. Feelings get you lost, right? So if feelings is what you're going to harp on, well, you'll be harping on a lot of dangerous things like this. What you're harping on now, that's dangerous. Think about it. If everyone was how you want it to be, well, let people think. Let, let people all be LGBTQ. Well. The planet will be gone in 200 years, human society, because no one will be having babies. Science will have to take us to another level. We have to be taking eggs from here and eggs from there. Maybe we could clone a nigga. So it's like, <laughs> it is crazy. We'll have to, science will have to take us to, 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 to lead society on if the LGBTQ R runs the world so and that's crazy god would destroy it before then you read the bible he did it in sodom and gazor well yeah last questions if you have any no mm -mm. all right last thoughts on the podcast nothing i had said what i said i thought like i i like that you stand on how you feel you feel me and you have like a lot of educational s stuff to say i feel so. i stand on what i think okay yeah, i don't you stand feel on what anything you think. Oh my god! <laughs> but okay. Anyway. Yeah. No. This whole what's well, called no fugazi. How can I be not fake if I'm like feeling and worried about people's feelings? Right. It wouldn't be real. It it'd come off. You would see it. It'd come off right. fugazi if I'm feeling about things. So yeah. Okay. How you think then? <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> For the compliment. <laughs> um, that's all you got. Yeah. Would you come back? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, you want to oh, come yeah, back? Yeah, no, yeah, I would. Oh, okay, work. Cool. We'll have you back. And I asked everybody on the podcast <laughs> when they come you. back. <laughs> My fault. Yeah, no, nah, you're good. Um, moving right along, you. Yeah. Um, I'm good. Any, any questions? I don't really have no questions. Um, you, I really. I fuck with you too. I fuck with you. Hey. <laughs> like, hey. I fuck with you too. I fuck with you and your opinion. <laughs> I definitely Them. fuck with you. I don't. Um, the whole podcast. <laughs> I loved it. I um, feel like it was a little too much more on the men's side of never wrong, but... What? We, got, <laughs> we witnessed 
She got 11 niggas and we was getting on these oh, niggas. Sweet. What do you mean? All right, listen. But I was cracking on these niggas, making jokes, calling them simps. She was calling them simps. She I said they corny. <laughs> <laughs> corny, a loser. Like, what do you mean? We got on men a whole lot. I, I liked it. I definitely liked I, it. I, I did. I, I know. Know. I put money in y'all pockets. What you talking I about? I put money in my pockets. I different opinions on different topics. So I really liked it. I definitely liked it. Okay, word. Would you come back? Absolutely. I'll have you back. Word. Say no more. And uh, last thoughts. Or do you have any questions? Mm, I don't have any questions. With you, I say, <laughs> I, I feel as though you don't know how to respect certain people's opinions. But that's because you have an opinion of your own. So I can respect it. that, I guess. I guess. But mm. you are more so on the men's side. Like, like, you so damn, you're not sexist. <laughs> but it's like, I'm a you asked us these questions <laughs> that like uh, would make a female look worse <laughs> than a man. When you know it's niggas out there what that are mean? terrible, like, that don't even need to walk this listen, earth. Listen. Like, all the niggas that's terrible out there is the niggas y'all got in y'all friend zone who you got $100 and from a and she got $100 from or $80 friend from. Friend zone. But, no, that's not, no, that's not true. <laughs> no, that is true. So You guys are all one with each other. How we are all uh -huh. one with each other, right? Uh, right. Yeah. That, nah, nah, that's nah, okay. Nah, nah. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Look. Uh, so you telling me no man can sit on this couch and pull out his phone and be like, yo, yeah, we ain't sleeping with each other. You can send me $1,400. They ain't going to do it. What? These no. guys ain't going to do it. What? I don't no think so. Chick what kind sending, of female no chick is sending you guys money? money? Oh, no. Nah, there's a lot smash. of females out here that's okay. sending niggas money just because. Right? If you're the right man, I, I will please. trick for you. Trick for me. I will trick for you. Guess what? You don't want me to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. already gonna be having sex. Yeah. Thank you. Nah, not necessarily. Oh, yeah. No. Mm. yeah, yeah. Another not, topic. Not so much. Not so much. We, we well, Mike got a town, ladies. She, Another but. topic I need to retouch. You said that women like ninety. I I don't know exactly what percentage you said of women uh, depend on men or like I don't know. They just we depend on them for everything. I me mean, personally, I don't look for no man for nothing. Like I don't need them to do nothing. So I feel as though all women don't depend on men for everything, and not every man is the breadwinner. Um, we could bring um, money home. Like we yeah, could both so bring it's money not home, about like. what you are doing. It's the mental mindset, right? So you you would prefer a man that will lead and protect and provide you. And where I don't. You, if you had a choice of guy A who is making over $100,000 a year, and he's financially stable, he's charismatic, he's charming, he's everything you want in a guy. But guy B, he's charismatic, he's charming, he's good looking, he's just as good as guy A, but guy B doesn't have the financials there. Which guy are you choosing? It depends on which one is more loyal. Like They're where both they the same. Lo lo everything is the same, but one I has less. The... One is less ambitious to go out there and truly make something of himself, and the other one is more ambitious and truly, uh, you know, he has the, he's actually made something of himself. I'm gonna go for wait. I'm gonna go for the more ambitious one, but hold on. Why the fuck you <laughs> but listen, but listen. <laughs> that was funny. But all right, all right. Hey, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Bro. Let me talk real quick. But I feel as though with the with the one that doesn't have the money, we can build. We could get that together. Absolutely. Like mm -hmm. it don't matter that you don't got no bread. We okay. could go get so that. So you're gonna go with guy A. You're gonna go with the one that has the money and the finances. And whichever one I fuck with more, whichever one train me, right? Which exactly. Be okay. So so gangster. let's be real here, ladies. Let's keep it no fugazi. You gonna go with guy A. Because, guess what? That's what y'all made to do. You was put on this planet. See, that's what I'm saying. That's not, that's not what I made to do. I could get my own money. I don't need no nigga. Okay, okay, it. okay. Yeah. So you speaking all this independent stuff, that's why you single. So, because um, I wrote it down. You speak all this independence. All that's independence true. And boss no, that's true. No that's true. That's why you single. Yeah. <laughs> so, and another oh. thing I feel is though... I feel as though like uh, men don't like that when you're independent and when you want to do okay, for yourself. True. Men don't like that because they want to be the one to do it. They don't. And I feel as though they don't. They want a feminine. They want. They want. They want you to be no, feminine. They want to they have, control, have control over you. Like they. I don't know how to explain it. Like, feel like it's not having control. So I got yeah, you. I know. Me and you on the same wavelength. I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So um, one, I'll answer a few of your takes and then I'll get to that one. So one, this is not no um, <laughs> podcast. Excuse me, ladies. 
Uh, this is not a podcast about bashing women at all. I have a daughter that's 11 years old and I have a son, right? There isn't no podcast about bashing women at all. It's the furthest thing of that. This podcast is given the reality about male and female intersexual dynamics that pretty much all this podcast is about is explaining that men and women are different and attraction isn't symmetrical, is asymmetrical. What you want in a man, the man doesn't want back in you. You want a masculine male, an assertive male, a dominant male, someone that can lead you. We want a feminine, submissive woman, someone that we can lead. It all streams from that. It streams from our biology because there are only two genders, male and female. And we have different attraction triggers and different things that we look for in the opposite gender. So it isn't a gender war. It is a gender reality podcast. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's a gender war here. It's a gender war in the world right now. But like, I just feel as though you don't know how to... Just how you said she doesn't know how to, you know, accept reality. You don't know how to accept reality as well. What part don't I don't? What part that? Lord and Savior, I'm sorry. Just <laughs> like everybody else's reality well, what but part yours. That I don't know. What part I can't accept of reality? Certain opinions. You think Opin that? Okay, like so how you said, opinions. Hold on. Like how so, you said what? Like how you said men can be whores. I mean, can't be whores. How can't you? Listen, listen, ladies. It's not mm -hmm. about accepting an opinion or declining an opinion. We all know that opinions can be right or an opinion can be wrong, right? Just because you have a perception about something that gives you an opinion about something that in most of you ladies here, I would say besides one, has a very small subjective opinion about things because you view things very subjective based off what you've experienced. I view things objectively based off what I experience and what other people experience, right? Yeah. A wise man learns from other people. A dumb person learns from his own mistakes. Yeah. Oh, I got to keep making a mistake. I keep, I keep <laughs> making a mistake. I bump my head, get back up. No, a wise person is going to, okay, this is how this is going. This is the data. Okay, let me move this way. I'll have better results. So that's what I'm saying. I'm literally giving you ladies guidance. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. the fact is this, right? The reason why all of you ladies, maybe besides one or two, think that I come off a little strong yeah. or I come off a little misogynistic or sexist is because you ladies don't know how to digest. Everybody. You ladies don't know how. Do you ladies Except. don't? No, no. You ladies uh -huh. don't know how to digest a father's love. Right, and I'll Whoa. tell you the reason why you don't know how to digest a father's One mic at a time. One mic at a time. All right, so let me one take the mic. Time. I'm preaching here. Yeah, you're gonna get this on. work. You're done preaching. We're yeah, done listening work, to right? this crazy <laughs> opinion <laughs> preaching right now. Okay, but well, you can see your way off the podcast okay. then. All right, I did. I okay, walked you could you could you could walk off right now if you don't want to listen to it. Go ahead. Peace. Continue on by. Yeah, pack her stuff up. Get her stuff. She's out of here. Had to kick another one off. Um. So the thing is, the reason why you ladies have this perception of me, right, is because you don't know how to digest a father's love, right? It's very simple. It's an order to stuff. God over men, man over woman, woman over children. Or you could use the word, if you don't like the word over, you could say cover. God cover man, man cover woman, woman cover children, right? So the fact in that it's society, right? Society took away the father's love. Most women and most people in this society, men and women, um, grew up in single parent households. And the woman was the one that was propagating her views and her perception of, of the world into her kids. She was instilling those behaviors into her kids. One yeah. second, I'll let you go, right? Okay. So, so one, you have the woman instilling her perception into her kids. Then you think, this world is that we live in America is uh, is is a patriarchy is not really a patriarchy. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a matriarchy, I would say. Yeah, you could say men are at top, but men views the way men think uh, is very feminized. So those men that's at the top, it's a very feminized mindset. Right. So even those men, they are bringing they are 
propagating their feminine mindset into <clears throat> all of you people. That's why she's over here believing in multiple genders, which is nonsense. <laughs> That's why, you know, I'm sounding like I'm harsh. It's because you can't accept the father's love. The father's love is about it's too it's very simple. God's love is di be disciplined. God's God wants you to be obedient. Right. He says something. Listen to his word. That's what God I'm giving the truth. But, oh, I don't feel it doesn't make me feel good. So I don't want to accept it. That's because you can't accept the father's love. What is true <clears throat> is of God. That is facts. And everything I've been speaking, you could Google it. You could look it up. Every statistic. I'm speaking the truth. Go ahead. <laughs> Yes, I grew still. up in a two family house So I mean a two parent house I grew up with a father Guess and a what? mother And I said everyone but two of the ladies two, It's yeah. her and it's her like, <laughs> That is you know I'm not coming off too harsh But the rest of y'all is like uh, Maybe a little rigid Maybe a little you know this and this But mm -hmm. you know it's all love here baby girl I'm literally giving a, a real perspective And a genuine caring perspective About Men and women intersexual dynamics and nothing I said was wrong. I'm saying if you're intelligent, you're going to take what you say and take it to yourself. You're not going to listen yeah. to every single thing he says and yeah. take it to heart. Right. You're going to be like, I, I understand what you're saying. Right. I understand your perspective. I got my own opinion. Don't mean you need to fight it. And that's what I'm saying. Also, like, if you don't got your own individual thoughts, you're going to think you're going to fight for other people's thoughts. Right. You're going to fight that this is how it needs to be because that's what you were taught. But if you thinking. You, most of the time, you're just going to keep your thoughts to yourself because it ain't worth it. People don't understand your thoughts. People are not going to listen to you. So you're just going to be like, all right, I'm going to keep it to myself. And that's how most people should be moving. Because mm -hmm. I just think both ways. I think a way that I think in the way that the men be talking and I understand where they're coming from. And then some females I agree with and some females I that's don't what I'm saying. agree you gotta, with. You got to use like, your own judgment. Some females I'm like, yeah, you sure, trust. you wilding. <laughs> use your own judgment. Listen to what you want to listen to. Don't listen to everything that you hear. Don't right. don't yeah. also and don't also disregard everything you hear. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not learning from other people, you're not doing it right. You're not doing yeah, it. Yeah, right. facts. Right. Um, Absolutely. You got something else? Yes, I was gonna say I don't think you're coming off harsh, but I told you it's a few opinions that were stated that you were like, eh. The, I don't the know. thing, but the it's thing like, is that if you could say uh, an opinion could be wrong. So if an opinion is wrong, I'm just giving a truthful uh, perspective fact back to the opinion. But the thing is that you're. You're thinking about things with feelings first. If you think with logic first, that means that even if you give your own opinion and then I give a rebuttal back, you would think logically instead of feelings. Feelings would make you think, well, ew, why would he just like disregard on, on what yeah. I said? But logic would make you think, well, let me think about what he said. Yeah, that's you get what I'm saying? So it's much different. So like and when you start to critically think about that, and this is why we need the father's love. You need the father's love back in America so the woman won't feel so attacked when they feel it, when they feel this love. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm giving nothing but love. I'm telling women to stop being promiscuous. <laughs> I'm telling I'm telling you that, hey, baby girl, when you're allowing all these dudes inside your soul gaps, guess what? You actually lowering your own value, right. not to just the world's eyes, but to your own eyes. You get what I'm saying? It's going to be harder for you to choose a mate. Capisce. It's going to be harder for you to peer bond and truly feel true, genuine love with someone because you allowed all these other dudes inside you because you didn't respect yourself enough to have more sexual temperance and to hold yourself up with more high importance. You know, that's why you're just allowing people to sleep with you. So that's love. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It, it can't be nothing but love. A dude that don't, that's just telling nonsense is going to be like, Hey, girl, uh, you had 20 body count. Yo, try to get to 50 before the end of the year. He doesn't love you. A dude that's just going to... Men that don't have any uh, uh, standards for their woman and don't have any boundaries for their woman, those men don't love their woman. Right. A man that's going to let their woman go to the club with her single friends, a man that's going to let uh, her woman, his, his woman, take a, a girl's trip out to Cancun uh, with her friends, um, a man that's going to, you know, do, do a multitude of things that can put her in, put herself in precarious situations that could damage herself or damage the relationship. He has no love for that woman. The man that's going to masculinity, masculine men, right, they they have standards. They have morals within themselves and within their woman that they choose. So they're not they know that most men want to most men in the club want to sleep with women. So why would they why would they park their Lamborghini in a hood? 
If they park it in the hood, a lot of people going to want to sit on that Lamborghini or try to steal it. Even though that Lamborghini got the best security lock, even though his girl is loyal in the club. Right. But people still going to be trying to touch her. People still going to be trying to get with her. So it's a bad situation. It's a bad deal for for his girl to be in that club. It could damage the relationship. It's about look. It's about mitigating risk. So men that has value and that knows things in this world and how and how the world operates, they mitigate risk all the time. That's how I have this business. I got to mitigate risk. That's, That's how I'm doing anything in life. Men and women, you got to mitigate risk. But men of value when it comes to a relationship, that's how they look at their woman as that Lamborghini. They're not parking it in the hood. It's going to be parked in the garage or the suburbs or somewhere where they know where it's safe at. Feel what I'm saying? But that's love. But the thing is that women don't know how to digest that love. They take it as, oh, you controlling. I'm not controlling. I love you, girl. I don't want you out there. Uh, you know, being uh, putting yourself in a precarious situation where a dude can slip something in your drink and maybe date rape you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a lot of things that could go wrong. So men, we are protecting our women when we come from this standpoint like this. So it's pure love. Girls be fighting for things that they know is wrong. Like, you know how it is when you go out to a club and how guys be on you, but you just want to go. So you're going to be fighting to the death. Like, that's not how it is. It's not going to be like that when I go out. Just because you feel me, you, you, if you're being real with yourself, you're going to understand his perspective at the same time. Even, even if you're still going to be like, fuck you, I'm still going to go. At least if you can understand that perspective, you, got into, like, you, un you understand both yeah. sides. And, and it starts with... You talking to me? I'm just looking no, at no, you. I'm just general. looking at no, you. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I understand. You all talking no, in general. I ain't talking to you either. You're I talking in general. No, I know. Yeah. But I was just like, I understand. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, yeah. right? I was going to say... Um, I feel as though it's all what you allow. Like with the female and uh, stuff, it's all what mm -hmm. you allow. Yeah, man. A man that doesn't have a backbone. How you carry yourself. <clears throat> yeah, if he's a, mm -hmm. you know, that a woman is going to walk all over him and disrespect him. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he, he, he doesn't respect himself. So the woman isn't going to respect him. She will most likely cheat on him if he has no backbone or no standards for himself or that woman. So, yes, yeah, that's, that's what it is. But uh, last thoughts. Um, I had fun with you guys. Yeah, no, it was definitely fun. <laughs> you had fun? Yeah, I had me right, dying or whatever. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh. okay. <laughs> uh, would you come back? Yes, I will come back. You will come back. All right, all right. Well, this was very no fugazi thank you ladies <laughs> no for coming bullshit. i know you want to attend see your friend um i don't even know her they came different they came <laughs> separately i literally just Worked met her in the parking lot oh, you that's my her? friend oh wow <laughs> well, i didn't know but anyways yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's this, po that this podcast is no fugazi <laughs> tune into the next one we out